Good evening, YouTube. Welcome to Swap Shop. No 30 second uh, countdown as uh, we had a few things to sort out in the um, the private room, should we say, the, the guest room, let's say that. Um, I hope everyone is good. Come on, the England. So I've got my shirt here. My, well, I've got my 80s one. Um, I keep saying 80s, but it's 90s, isn't it? The 90s one. I did buy a New England shirt, and it cost me £60 pound notes, which I thought was an absolute joke. A nice blue one um, on the uh, side of us tonight. I'm going to go with the rhubarb and custard because that's I do like it. It's my least favourite, but I'm going to go with that one first, purely because it's my least favourite out of the two. Hope everyone is good. I'm going to get into the comments in a second. Just um, call myself a beverage. I'm not sure I understand. Siri, you never understand me. You always come on when I don't need you. When I do need you, you're not fucking there, you stupid bitch. Anyway, fuck off. Um, there we go. Right, who's in the comments? Tutti, I'm hoping to be entertained tonight. If you lads don't step uh, step to the mark, I'll be watching some Dutch slash Russian porno on ITV. I'll probably watch that anyway, Toot, to be honest. I'd probably have it in the background, to be honest with you, Toots. Uh, for you to even consider watching us over a porno, I will drink to that. How we doing, Scott? We good, fella? Say good, Saturn lad is in the venue. Retro bait. Paul, how we doing, sir? Hope we are all good. Game Shack, how we doing? We good, my friend? Rock and roll, how we doing? Gernardinho, how we doing, sir? I'll tip my glasses to you, my stupid glasses that I'm now wearing. No offense to... I know, who's got glasses? Oh, it's got uh, glasses. Okay, anyway, not, not stupid, you know. It's like, it's like Superman for a second, just feel like... Uh, anyone see the Xbox presentation? No, but I heard it's shit, so I feel even better now. Um, uh, at the game, game show, the blocks. <laughs> uh, Cooper's world, how we doing, fella? Are we good? Pixel plug, how we doing? We all right? Willie Weeble, has he got a hairband on? Yeah, look, I've got a, got a hairband on because my hair's long, man. Look, my hair is seriously long, and whew, this is just this is my little, you know, keep me in position. Um, what scally bags are on tonight? Ah, oh, Scott's obsessed with knowing any. Uh, Jack Grealish is hosting. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. But I ain't a, I'm from Broom. Um, man bun next week. No, no, no. Just haven't got my hair all um, in mousse or gel. Alex, Alex is always on. Joe, how we doing? We good, mate? We good. Pedro, how we doing? Mooch, how we doing, fella? Nerdy geezer. Right. So, who have we got tonight? Let's get my first tuba on. This tuba is someone who I've been following for maybe 10 years, nine years. He's been very active this week. He's on a very good friend of mine channel, Rob Essex Retro. Someone who, this, this tuba I used to watch all the time when he used to do SNES collection, when he used to buy his NTSC SNES collection. It was like... One of my go-to things weekly. Um, I used to message him on the comments. He never used to fucking message back. He used to just, you know, mop, fob me off or mug me off. No, he didn't really. No, I'm, I'm joking. But um, great YouTuber. He's had a busy week. I'm glad to have him here. It's Nestastic Pete. How are you, sir? I'm doing well, mate. How are you? I'm really good, mate. I'm so glad you're on. It's been a long time coming. We, well, we've done the Justice League together, which was awesome. It was, yeah. It was a good night, that was. Yeah, it was a good Hopefully, we've got to do some more. There's a, there's a few rumours in the pipeline. We might be doing um, another DC cartoon universe vid. I'm not sure. Pedro hasn't sorted out as of yet. However, we might be doing that. And obviously, get, get yourself, we need to get you back on there, mate. I mean, cool. it was a good laugh. And Pedro can sort that. But thank you so much for tonight, Pete. Really appreciate it. I... Um, I hope you enjoy yourself. Yeah, I mean, it'll be good. <laughs> right, <laughs> next person. This this is great tonight. I've got say. So let's bring this one in first because this is my, my right hand man, my left hand man. It's my friend and yours. It's Fob. Evening, boys. We, you good? I'm good, mate. You? Very, I'm really good, mate. We got a great tomorrow. It's yep, yep. Just literally tomorrow is the sore 
horror movies on the bootlegs of Gernardinho. I'm very, very much looking forward to that. So Gernardinho, top man, looking forward to that. Fob, I'm loving the haircut. I'm glad you got a bit of a trim because, like me, I'm fucking hot like this and I want to shave it off. So fair play to you because it's bullshit at this. I've got the fans <laughs> on, but I'm still sweating my bollocks off. You can't say Michael Jackson in mother care anymore because one, he he's dead, and two, mother care's finished. So where do they go now then? <laughs> what, no, Michael? I'm just no, I'm not. I don't need. I'm just asking. I'm just. It's just a question. <laughs> um, okay, two more tubers. Two tubers. One I've been following quite recently. One of them I've been following for quite a bit of time. And I'm still shocked that one, he's not been nominated for YouTube of the month. And two, he should be on way more subscribers. His channel is a, another go to channel I watch on a Friday night, sometimes Saturday, like last night, and he was half cut. Great YouTuber. I don't know what the fuck he looks like. It's heaps. Evening, lads. What's the crack? How are we doing? You good, fella? I'm fucking hanging from last night. I had about ten or twelve Guinness yesterday, and I was in bits last night. I didn't even know. I didn't even know I did the stream last night until I woke up. And I woke up, and there, there's the stream, and I watched some of it back. Effing and blinding on me, it was unreal. It was so because literally I got home from work, and it, it come up on my phone. Heaps is going live, and I was like, on a Saturday. So I clicked on it, and you were like, oh, fuck it. Right. You was gone, mate. It was, <laughs> was like, so, oh, it was so bad. I haven't been that bad in a while. Sure. I haven't got to the pub. Sure, I wouldn't have been in the pub since Christmas with COVID and everything else. So that was yeah, the first time to really to really get out. Like, so listen, mate. Thank you very much. I know we're on a bit of a schedule, but thank you yeah, very, very no, much. No heaps, heaps, I love your fucking channel, and I swear to God, I can't believe you've not been nominated for YouTube of the month. And secondly, you haven't got over a million. Well, not maybe not a million subscribers, but over a lot more than what you've got, mate. So, good luck to you, sir. Right, sound. Let's get Although I don't know what's wrong with my mic. Sorry, man. The mic's fine. <laughs> I'm figuring we've, out. We've lost your picture, we'll, but it's not a problem. We can, we can yeah. get to that. Um, next tuber. I literally found this, this channel by chance. And that's what I love about YouTube. And I know there's, we're all in the same position. You're literally on YouTube. You're, you're going through the, uh, what, what's it called? On the, um, is it stuff you may like or things that we recommend to you? And it came up this channel, and I was like, oh, right. Car booting, clicked on it, watched a few episodes, commented on one of them, and he commented straight back. And I was like, touch, that's what you like. Someone that is interactive already with you, has a good presence on the screen, as in, like, comes across well, does his channel well, picks up some good stuff, picks up all sorts of stuff, not just Xbox or PlayStation, but... 16 bit, 8 bit, 32 bit, you know, great channel. I, I um, shared him in a couple of the groups I'm in, and I know we've got a few more subscribers. He hit a thousand subscribers with Gernardino, who's in the comments today. So that was cool. And I'm so glad to have him on because, again, it's three tubers we've not had on before. His name is Ed, and it's Ed Hunts. How are you, sir? Hello, Lee. How are we doing? Hello, Snitch I'm really Hello, good, man. Hello, Heat. Hello, viewers. How are you? All right, lads. Great to be on. Mate, thank you so much for coming on. I really appreciate it. Um, I know you said you went car booting and whatnot, and that's what I say. Car booting is what a lot of the tubers who we watched from the beginning was about car booting, because that's all it really was. It wasn't about doing the live streams and stuff, because that wasn't really a thing back then. Not really, really, anyway. Not like how it is now. So, to me, watching a pickup skid from a car boot is a bit of bread and butter. Absolutely. I mean, like, it's just, it's just a uh, right hunting ground for retro and video games in general. There's always different people there. There's always the chance of you getting some, some awesome pickups. So that's why I keep going, you know, and like, that's why a lot of other tubers keep going too. And it's just, yeah, it's just a great, um, a great source to get it. In this, uh, it's getting know, less and less though, don't you think? No, I, I don't No, I'll I tell you what, for because... Before you, you, you came on earlier, like uh, to the background, Ed was saying he missed a, a Nintendo Light, uh, a Nintendo Switch Light was sold for 25 quid. I know that's a newer, newer uh, gen, but I still think there's gold. I mean, I picked up some gold uh, last Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday just gone. I haven't showed it to anyone, but he's out there, mate. See, I mean, I, I don't go to Leicester. It's just, it's just uh, I mean, 
me and Stu, I think, you know, we, we've sort of gone, we've been a few times this year and we've picked up nothing really of note. Do you, do you know what I mean? I don't know. Even the other lads at the booters, you know, you know, the the, the other guys looking. Yeah. I can't honestly say I've seen any, you know, that we've missed out on anything, you know, in particularly good or anything like that. I, I, you know, obviously you have to put the time and the, the work in and, and it will come, but it's just, uh, it's a little bit disheartening, I think, when you go weeks and weeks, you know. But I'm not being funny, Fob. You and Tootie probably hoovered up half of Leicestershire's fucking... Uh, Retro, let's be fair. If not you, definitely fucking duty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, fuck me. The amount of shit he's picked up over the last eight or well, ten years or whatever he's been on YouTube. Fucking hell. He could have opened up his own fucking game shop and done it for life. We see uh do you know you know Wishwash Lewis? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we walk around with uh Wishwash as well. Uh and, and he's very good at it. He's a, he's got a good eye, you know. But and uh yeah, he he's uh Ubered quite a bit of it up around here as well. Bless him. Yeah, no. Um, we are one person short at the minute, which is my left or my right hand person, who, however you want to word it. I'm just seeing if he's messaged. He hasn't messaged me back yet. Um, Sega Zombie is out collecting something. He, he hasn't told me what it is yet. Regardless, uh, he should be on soon. So, Pete, I'm not sure if you have anything to let to let go. So, I'm not sure if you want to go first. If not, I can jump to Fob. You got anything yeah. you want to let go? No, I got a Fob. I've got bug of all at the moment. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Like you said. It's great to have you on, and I'd say we're going to yeah. go through a few bits. So, Fob, we're going to start with you, sir. Okay, mate. Okay. And away you go. Uh, right, we'll start off. I mean, I might be going over a few things, but it doesn't matter, does it? They'll be, they'll right, be it's all good. It's all good. I'm not sure if I've shown this before. I think this is the Game Boy Advance link cable. Oh, wow. I think. Yeah. Game Boy Advance. Awesome. Little Pokemon one. That's cool. We got that. I'm not sure if I've shown that before. Invade on the thing. Uh, but anyway, in, it's in quite nice, Nick. That's, yeah, that's thing. nice. We have got uh, a couple of Sega CD games. Ooh. American. Very nice. Ground Zero. Yeah. And Lynx Golf. Lynx Golf. Okay, nice, nice. Uh, got a couple of PS4 to finish with. Nice. I picked picked some of these up from a car boot not long ago. Prison Architect. Okay. Dirt Rally. Resident Evil. Dying Light. Injustice 2, yeah. Deer Hunter, and Detroit to Become Human. Still sealed, that one. Yeah. And uh, I'll let you move on for, for the time being, mate. Uh, two, he's trying to cause a fight. I'm not going to... I'm just going to brush past that, Rob. All right? I'm not going to... Don't, don't rise to it, mate. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about you. Fuck him. Forget him. Also. Uh, Ed, dear chap. Yes. It's over to you, my friend. Yeah. All right, cool. So I'm going Show to start you got, my with friend. a few Nintendo games. Uh, so we've got Gradius. Nice Gradius R type over here. Lovely. Yep, Gradius 3. Yep. Uh, then I've got <clears throat> Alien 3. LGN Classic. Nice, NTSC. It's still, still working. Um, and then we've got Double Dragon. Oh, yeah, Double Dragon. Double Dragon the, yeah, that's one of my favourites. Yeah, I saw you in the comments before. Um, yeah. How many should I show? I've got... Many as you want, mate. Nice. Mega Drive and does not have its manual. Uh, then we've got PSP. We've got Gangs of London. Nice. Cool. Um, then we have Commodore 64 game, Turtles. Nice. That is complete. It's all there. Cool. Uh, and I'll show one more. I'll yeah, one more, mate. That's cool. 
get I've got um Bomber Man tournament on the Game Boy Advance Bomber Man tournament. Nice one, nice one. Cool. Perfect. Thank well, you, good. Ed. Right, heaps. Come off unmute, mate. All right, Lee. <laughs> Over to you, sir. Well, I've got a shite load of stuff, so let me just see. What I do is I go through some of the PC games first. So I've got a, a bunch of PC games here. Let's start Perfect. with them. Go on, mate. Okay, so first up, it's Battlefield 2 for the PC. And these are okay. kind of, these will be old enough now. Yeah, yeah. Um, Unreal Tournament 3 for PC. Okay. Uh, we got Stalker. Oh, that looks quite good. Now, this one is actually probably considered quite rare because I actually bought this on launch. So this is actually the OG copy of Doom 3 for the PC. Oh, nice. So that that was picked up on launch day. Jesus Christ, I can't remember when that was. But anyway, uh, another one, Enter, Enter the Matrix. Okay. And Far Cry. Not sure if anyone's interested in these PC games, but sure. What happened? Some people, some people, you know, you never know. Like I said, we'll find some people, mate. Yeah. Command and Conquer 3, Tiberian Wars. Nice. Uh, Dawn of War, Winter Assault. Good strategy game, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, Call of Duty 2. Wow. God, you got uh, a lot of PC games, heaps. Yeah, I... I went through storage because I went through storage when, when I knew it was going to be on and I found the boxes and stuff that I hadn't just found or looked through in ages. So the oh, last wow. one, and th this one is actually pretty rare as well. Um, this was picked up on launch when Call of Duty, the very, very first Call of Duty. Oh, PC. wow. So that, that's the PC stack. I can move, you can, I'm done there now. Cool. I'll, I'll drop you off, fella. That's nice. Let's have a look who's in the old comments. Greetings, Woodland. How are you, sir? Uh, where is it? Stalker 2 is coming to the Xbox? Is it? Yeah, it's an extra back. Oh, wow. Yeah, there was, a, there was a video of it there on, on E3. It actually, actually looked pretty good. Well, I'll, I'm saying I will watch it after this. I, I said to, to Pete, that's fantastic. I didn't actually watch it because I was watching the footy. I was trying to sort out dinner and what, yeah, trying to sort out my hair and stuff, you know. Um, who else? We've got lots of people in today. You've got Gem T, who's just subscribed to me, so thank you. I'm guessing that's a friend of yours, Ed. Yeah, yeah, he's a friend of mine, yeah. He's indeed. Nice, right, man, nice one. Woo. Ah, Gordon Gibb. I haven't had a chance to properly congratulate you for being nominated for YouTuber of the month. Don't know why you've done fuck all this month, but fair play to you. Um, <laughs> no, no, I'm only joking, mate. You're all good. Uh, where was, where, where is, ah, there we go. Big game out. You got me for two minutes, then back to the 13th beer in E3. Why don't you fuck off now, Al? How's that one, mate? <laughs> 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 uh, oh, look, it's my friend. Mofo bros, looking good. <laughs> oh, Jesus this. Christ. <laughs> this geezer's is hilarious, Teeps. Listen, he's, he's, he's top every swap <laughs> shop he's on, mate. Every swap shop he's on. Um, uh, where are we? How's it going? Cox for man, how's it going, Chef and Ed? We, yeah, we're all good, fella. Thank you very much. Beeps, how we doing, mate? Beeps, when are you coming on? You must have loads of shit to get shot of. Uh, da, da, da. all right, cool. Fob, we're gonna jump to you, sir. <coughs> okay, mate. Well, then, before fucking Al goes, I best get some <laughs> out of the fucking way, am I? Get right. some of the fod get some of the fodder out of the way. Doing real dog shit, right. <laughs> Dishonored, Xbox One. Crew, two. They're both sealed. Forza. Minecraft. Need for speed. Nice. Lego Worlds. Marvel Superheroes 2. Minecraft Season 2. Oh, you'll love this because this really is shit. Um, <laughs> GTA 4, PS3. Halo. Another Halo. ODST, yeah. Far Cry. Uh, good game, I like Far Cry. Gran Turismo. Nice. Beatles Rock Band. He definitely wants that. Yeah. <laughs> Banjo Kazooie. Oh, nice one. That's a great game, that. 
Yeah, it is, it is, isn't it? That is an awesome game. Yeah. I forgot that was on the Xbox. Injustice? Injustice, yep. Yeah. Very good comic series if you ever get to read them. Dragon Age. Nice. Mm. Mass Effect. Mass Effect. Mass Effect. You should, I love that storyline for them games as well. Good ones they was. Crash on the way. Nice. House of the Dead, two and three. Retro Ghetto is in the house. He's after your banjo. Okie dokie, no problem. And Callum, i got to talk to you, fella. I'll talk to you soon, mate. The last two for now. Uncharted 4 and Bully. Bully, nice. And Pasami, oh, James is here. Fob got a new toupee. <laughs> They're all jealous because they haven't got any air. I say, that fucker hasn't been able to go any since he was 18. Bless him. Bless <laughs> <laughs> it's like a fucking boy with head. Yeah. It's fantastic. What do you think of the quality so far? Probably got some good stuff in there. Yeah, we have Ed's shown some Commodore. Yeah, you can't go with that. You know, Bob showed a few bits, heaps, going some PC stuff, some good titles there. You know, we still got lots of people. Um, oh, look, got a few people in here. Yorkshire, man. How we doing, sir? You finally found my channel, have you? I you know, subscribed to you about two years ago. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Ed, over to you, sir. Oh, I know I pressed. There, there we go. Over to right, you, sir. Sticking to the, uh, stick the banjo feed. Uh, I've actually got Banjo Kazooie on N64 loose available because uh, I recently picked it up, uh, boxed pretty good condition. So nice to get rid of the um, another good game. Uh, I've got this one isn't in great condition, but um, I've got Tiny Toons Buster Bus Loose. Nice, another good one. Get a on there. Um, next, I've got a loose Master System game. I've got Land of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. Just a loose card again. Nice. But great game. Uh, then we have Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Here's one. It is complete. Cool. So the disc is here. Pretty good condition. Um, then we have two more. We've got Star Wars Force Unleashed. And then on the DS, uh, this Good game. is the Australian. Um, I'm not sure on that. And the last one I'll show is Caesar's Palace Advance. In the game Advance. This is complete. wow, it's an unusual one. There, yeah, I picked it up recently at um, my local retro video game shop. And it, just, it was just part of the bundle. I'd never seen it before either. So, yeah, it's a really good condition manual as well. Um, the box is in pretty good condition. It's all right. It's a bit, it's a bit taped on the side, but it's all good. That's yeah, all right. That's me for now. Cool. Nice one, fella. So, yeah, so like like most of the stuff, what we do is after we take a few picks and we chuck it onto the swap top page. Um, heaps, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that for you. Cause I don't, I haven't got you on Facebook, have I? Hate. Yeah, and not even on Facebook. But sure, we can work it out. I mean, um... we will work something out, mate. We yeah. will work something out. It's not a problem. All right, heaps over to you, sir. Right. Uh, sure. Let's take a look at some Xbox next. So let's go with that. Um, cool. some, some shite here first. So FIFA 09. FIFA 09. Nice. I think this one's pretty decent. It's. Uh, Battle for Middle Earth 2, Lord of the very, Rings. Very, very, very good game. Yeah, that's a really good game. Uh, kind of a spiritual successor to a game called Black on the Xbox. It's called yeah. Body Count. Yeah, good one. That's another good I did enjoy that one. Yeah. Uh, Doom 3 BFG. Yep. Um, a good one here, kind of underrated. It's called Syndicate. Oh, First wow. person shooter. I remember that. I don't know if it's, is it the is it the same franchise as Syndicate on the Amiga? On the, yeah, uh, yeah. It's the, oh, right, it's, cool. it's the same franchise, but they kind of made a first-person shooter instead of a you know kind of a, a top-down or strategy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Cool. Uh, next then is Duke Nukem Forever. Nice. Um, and we got some OG Xbox, and then we got Rainbow Six Three. Well, I start playing out with a headset. 
Now I'm going to get you excited for this one. Now wait to see. So this next one here, and it's sealed as well. Sealed. <laughs> it's oh, cold. It's, so fair. it's cold fear, and it's sealed. Oh. So now I don't. I don't know why I was getting rid of it, but I. I said, look, I'm not. It's been on my shelf for about two years, so I so just might as well move it on. So. Have you actually but, played it, Heath? No, I've not played it. I heard it's. I heard it's unreal. So. It's very good. It's one of the ones I, I recommended. Yeah, so I mean, uh, I'll find another way to get a copy or something later on. But sure, look, there's no point in having it if I'm not going to play it now. So yeah, perfect. And that's well, it. Well, that's the Xbox. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Right, who we got in the comments now? Goodwin, Craig, Craig. I've got a great. I was saying on the on the WhatsApp group, I've got a great idea for you and two other tubers. I can't say too much. I don't want to spoil it. But one of the tubers will be getting in touch with you soon. So it'll be funny. That's all I'm going to say. So we're glad you're there, mate. Retro Bates had a good idea for you, heaps. We can, um, you can take a pick and tag me via Instagram. Yeah, well. great. So that'll work okay. That will work fine. Um, right. Uh, Al's gone now, so we can talk shit, more shit about him. He's gone to watch more E3. That's big game Al, says Tastic. I was saying to Rob to ask you the other day, do you watch big game Al? Or Planet Retro is a bit of a bit of a gag. I like to keep telling people. <laughs> so, uh, how much for Cold Fear? Right, Red Sky. What we'll do is we'll sort that out with heaps um, via me, via Instagram, via Spurs, and my friend. We'll sort that one out. You also got it's much more great guy, James. Yeah, yeah. James may be coming on one of my streams. Maybe we've got a few things to sort out. But James, I'm glad you're there, mate, and thank you for sharing the stream for tonight. Uh, Right, okay, so, Bob, over to you, sir. I think Scott uh, is st he's still a no-show. I still haven't had a message from him. I hope he's all right. Bless him. He'll be, he'll be all right. He'll, he'll be knee-deep in games somewhere, won't he? Either that or he's getting fucked by someone. Vice versa, it's a good good situation anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, sorry. <coughs> Some DS, a bit of DS I've picked up. Nice. Burnout. Oh, yeah, burnout. Nice one. Brats. Oh, brats seem to be going up to stupid money at the moment. Really? Yeah. You should check Phoenix that one out. Phoenix and Ferb. Fantastic. Princess on Ice. Spore creatures. Yeah. Zoo Tycoon 2. I did it, Mom, too. I did. What, what did you do? What has he done? That's what I need to know. Uh, it's 18 all new all new mini games, five exclusive games for boys. Uh, doesn't mention anything about girls. New pet companion, birthday recording function. Sounds right up Owl Street, that does. And yeah, definitely. My awesome me, too. Nice. For those that have completed one. Poorly pets. Beefy and the flower tops, and you've probably seen these before. These walk with me things. I think it's some sort of like pit attack, something. Cool. And that's that for DS, mate. Right? Nice one. Right, where are we now? Um, oh, is it only brats on the PS2 has gone up, mate? I, I saw Sega Saturn lad this morning picked up. Three or four brats. He's in one of the groups. I mean, he shared the picture of the uh, PS2 games, and he was saying they're like forty pound worth of fucking trade or something for brats. It's fucking unreal. Um, my pleasure, mate. Thanks, that's fantastic. Yeah, uh, yeah, man. Lee, everything up in the air or in the ground. Yeah, no worries, fella. It's all good. It's all good. Um, anyone know why Harry Potter the PS2 games has gone up to city prices? Anything GameCube goes up to the prices anyway. CX charge yeah, in about seventy odd. Yeah. About in the wild, uh, at a decent price, always pick it up. Like, it's yeah, it's going up so much. At the Jim, I'm sorry, mate. I saw that comment earlier, and I didn't ask Fob. Fob, have you got that? Yeah, yeah still got it. Yeah, lovely. Right, um, Jim, if you want that, obviously Fob will sort you out. Um, yep, yeah, all good, mate. Let's all. When you hear this, what the idea I've got, Craig, you're gonna laugh. Um, you know me, I like you know I'm a little bit fucked up in the head, mate. So um that's all 
Good. Uh, over to you, Ed. Cool. Right. So let's go through some of the PS2 games I've got now. So I've got Mike Tyson Heavyweight Boxing. Okay. Try to bring a real mix, you know. Try not to make it too boring. Um, I've got Conflict. Obviously, they're all so. Uh, conflict. Global Storm, complete. Um, we've got Medal of Honor, PS2. Nice. Still original Game Station stickers on there. I think that is a bunch of cheats all in there. Uh, nice. And then we have from Russia with well, 007. Yeah, it's complete. Yeah. Nice. Then we have GameCube game, Street Racing Syndicate. This is the American version, though. Oh, yeah, it's the American one you picked up in your recent vid. I I'm trying yeah, to work yeah, out yeah. why that geezer had that. He looked so random, and he had a bloody American GameCube game. Uh, he, he actually used to run a video game shop um, uh, somewhere, I think, in Crawley or something like that. And he just had a load of other back stock in his garage just lying about and he's just boxing it all up and then this this came along i think he only closed down his game shop about five years ago so a lot of the stuff that he's got is retro and obviously it was like current for the time so he had a lot of like ps3 stuff i got my ps4 uh, and one stuff. And he had retro stuff through the years but he didn't um at that moment he didn't have it so so that okay right. and then i've got a japanese psp game it's uh gundan I think it's Gundam versus Gundam. I think it's the actual name of it. Um, I'll put that to one side for me, mate. I'll have that off you. I love Gundam. All right, sweet. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll sort you out for that. Anything Gundam, I'm all over it like a fucking... I can't read it for fucking shit. Obviously, it'd be all Japanese, but I don't care. <laughs> I just I just uh, want to look at the I've box. Got, I've got a bit more Gundam, actually. I'll, I'll dig through my collection. And I'll, uh, dig through yeah, cool, man. I've got a sealed game as well. Um, it's sealed? Dance Central on Xbox 360 Connect is a little bit back, but yeah. That's all right. That's only like two, three, three more, literally two pounds. Uh, and then the last one for this section is SSX on tour. Not the one pound. <laughs> nice. That's complete. Well, and that is my section. You legend. Thank you, Ed. Cool. Right, Pete, what have you seen so far that you would you would have before would you probably ask to buy or put ask to uh, keep to one side and do a trade with? Because you used to collect I watched you solely when you was doing Super Nintendo and then you went into a bit of Mega Drive, PS1. So is there some stuff you've seen you might have had before? Uh, the only thing that really tempts me right now is the original on Xbox, because I always get drawn back into that again. <laughs> It, I, don't, I don't want to, but I feel like I'm going to have to. I, I, I was saying this, in, I've said it a few times in a few swap shops, is that um, when it comes to PS2 and Xbox, if the game is on the Xbox and on the PS2, I will buy on the Xbox because it's a more, more superior console. Always, 100%. So, I, yeah. I want, have you played the Bond games? I played them on PS2. Uh, what should we love? Yeah. Uh, I think it's Agent Under Fire. And on PS2, yeah. they just slow down halfway through. You can't control yeah. it. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And that's like, there's a lot of games, like the Warriors, um, the Manhunt games, the Grand Theft Autos just play so much more fluid on the Xbox compared to the PS2. But I've, but then there is some games, obviously, because the PlayStation being a Japanese console, if, if, if you follow me, that are our Japanese goalie games that you can't get on Xbox regardless anyway. <laughs> so it's yeah. kind of in, you're in that kind of grey area where you're still... You're collecting for a PS2 because you want that particular game. There's one game that springs to mind in my head always. is the Fist of the North Star games. We're all on the PS2 Japanese. Um, you can't get them, pal. Um, so you'd have to buy them Japanese. They never came out on the Xbox because obviously it's a it's anime manga, which is obviously a Japanese thing rather than an American thing. So, yeah, PS2 is a nightmare because I've gotten to really like it over the last couple of years. There's a lot more games that I've found that are really good, but this it's still... Because I was an Xbox guy, I find it really hard to like the PS2. It's it's a struggle. What about you, Heaps? Where are you with this? Because I know because you're you're one person who I, I valued the, your 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 comment about it because you play all consoles. You're playing 
Xbox, PlayStation, Dreamcast. You know, like you're going all around them. So where are you with the Xbox and the PlayStation too, mate? Yeah, definitely. I mean, if it's cross-platform, it's always going to be Xbox over the mm. PS2. Uh, yeah. Maybe maybe another example would have been the Max Payne series. Um, they're, yeah. They're, yeah. Brutal, they're brutal on the PS2 trying to play them, uh, but yeah. the Xbox versions are excellent, so much easier control, better frame rate. So, I mean, yeah. it, that's it. If I always get the option to pick from either console, I'm always going to go with Xbox unless there's some exclusive game on the PS2 or something you want to get. So, yeah. What about you, Ed? Are you with uh, Xbox or PlayStation? What, what are your... <laughs> well, it's PlayStation, really, if I had to choose one. But, like, I was really, like, uh, I grew up with the Amiga, really. And, um, the Amiga, okay. Nintendo, after that. So, it wasn't really, for me, it wasn't really about PlayStation or Xbox. It's always, like, Nintendo for me, really. But if I had to okay. choose one of the other, definitely PlayStation. Xbox was just something that never really came into the conversation with me or any of my friends. You know, when we used to play okay. uh, around you know, houses or whatever, it would always be PlayStation. You know, bring a pad around PlayStation, bring a game around PlayStation. So I think Xbox was perhaps like just my little brother's generation. Like he had an Xbox 360 when he was growing up. Um, yeah. So it wasn't, yeah, Xbox really isn't my bag at all. I, got, I only really buy Xbox at a boot fair to, to chop in or to sell on. I don't. Oh, fair enough. Fob, talk to me. Where are you with? PS2 or Xbox? Or are you not really fast? No, no, no. Uh, I, 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 I think, I, you know, I, I agree with the with um, the, the guys that the, the Xbox, you know, are on the, the, the majority of the, the games that cross over, you know, are, are better. But me personally, uh, I just always had, had a, a PlayStation. Had, um, yeah, 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 yeah. It was actually my, my lads, my, my, my oldest lad, he had a PlayStation 1. Um, and then I brought a PlayStation 2, um, and I used to play on it quite a lot. The, the, you know, the Pro Evo before the FIFA, before FIFA became yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the better one to buy. Um, and the wrestling games with my lads, they were little, they, they were into wrestling. Um, but I just always had the PlayStation 2. The other thing I would say on it is uh, nowadays when you pick up the consoles themselves, the Xboxes or the PS2s, yeah. nine times out of ten, a PS2 will work. I would say four to five times out of ten an xbox will still work yeah the, the rail stick or something like that um the controller you know the big duke controllers i've got a yep. few of them and they're you know uh is it as good as the playstation controller you know in my hands probably not um i'm not that much of a purist to probably notice like pete was saying about slow down on the james bond games you know yeah. i wouldn't pass level one to notice you know? <laughs> So it, it, it's, it's one of them. So I suppose I've just got that little bit more love for the PlayStation. But, I, you know, I, I do I do sort of – I can understand what the guys are saying, and I certainly wouldn't argue it. I, you know, I yeah, have yeah, no yeah. facts to back it up at all. That's I would say, with the uh, Bond games, though, I'd say if you do get to the levels, but there's a bit on a uh, promotion with Lobby, you've got a jetpack and you're going through a tunnel. And I, I normally wouldn't notice this sort of stuff, but as I was playing the game, the actual game completely slowed down and nearly came to a halt. And it was jerky, and I was like, shit, what's going on with this? Because oh, wow. the Xbox is smooth as anything. Yeah. No, yeah. Um, yes, yeah. Well, look, like I said, I've got PS2, I've got loads of games, but the Xbox for me, if I see a game, uh, and it's on both consoles, I'll definitely go on the Xbox. I, I've probably got most of them both the same anyway, but there are some games that I will play on the Xbox before I even turn on the PlayStation 2. But regardless, nice. That was good. I enjoyed that. Heaps. All right. Um, oh, PlayStation Nexus. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll just do it at random here if I could. No worries. Uh, right. You crack on. So Dark Souls 3 for the PS4. Nice. Good game, that. Um, now, Fucking tough game. Yeah, tough as, tough as nails, yeah. Um. <laughs> Okay, some some loose ones. Maybe people might want these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, GTA Two for the PS One. Nice. Um, I actually recently re got my original copy for the PS Two of this, but I always had the single disc. So it's a sing just just the Leon disc for Resident Evil Two. Okay. Some, somebody needs to replace it, or whatever. Um, Let's see. What else we got we got Final Fantasy Seven. Nice. Um, a VR title here, Doom VF4, PS4. Yeah, 
Yep. Uh, another old FIFA game, 16. Okay, okay. Uh, next up is Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, fucking... I've only just got into that game, but it's fucking good. Yeah, it's good. It's it's ch it's a chunk beefy game though. I mean, yeah. it takes away hours of your time. Um, let me see. I leave the I leave the sealed one for the last. Um, PlayStation Two, Black Hawk Down. Okay. Okay. Yep. Uh, and probably the worst game <laughs> ever to, I have ever played in the PlayStation. It's One Eight Seven Rider. Oh, that's a great game. That. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, 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 I couldn't stand it. Peach, that game used to fetch decent money. I don't know where it fetches now. It used to fetch good money, that game, at one point. I don't know if it's still... Yeah. I know on the Xbox it does. Maybe on the PS... I'm not quite I, sure, to be honest. I picked it up at, C, uh, at CEX, uh, maybe last year or something, and it was, it was reasonable enough. It was only a tenner or something, so... Yeah. Maybe maybe, maybe it is going for big money. Who knows? Mm. Be a good one to check out. And then the last one I have is a sealed copy of Yakuza 0 for the PS4. Very, very good game. Yeah. I love the series. Great series. Yeah, me too, man. There's a and lot that's... of people worried heaps about that your glass is empty. And is <laughs> that legal in Ireland to have an empty glass? <laughs> that is, I'm just going to... where. where I have no more there? cans. I have no more cans in the fridge. I'm not... Oh. Them. Uh, is Guinness empty? Is that even legal in Ireland? Game Shack? We are not sure. We need to ring the EU or wherever. <laughs> we need to ring someone to tell that. <laughs> I was so shaking. Like, I was shaking off drinking that one anyway. So, oh, there's Mate, a, couple of, a couple of bottles of salt in the fridge. I might grab them. So, <laughs> yeah, last night was funny, mate. Fair play to you. So, si, how we doing, mate? Have to get you back on soon, my friend. Have to go and you bought so much stuff recently, mate. In in the tubers group, you're showing so much stuff, and you got to get back on it, mate. I was talking about you earlier, Rob. Hope you're good, mate. Hey, fever's murder. I know. I saw you rubbing your nose like you're doing the line of Colombian special yeah, on one of your videos. It was like rubbing away. I was like, hacking. I'll be careful. It's gonna fall out. <laughs> um, never mind. That's another story. Uh, Gasset. Hey. Uh, Gasset is here. I said is here, but right, game culture. Do I know game culture, or is that someone for you heaps? I always get yeah, every time good, I've good part of mine. Good chap, got a good Perfect, channel. Lovely. As well. Welcome to the uh, chat game, uh, game culture, and thank you for coming in, mate. Uh, Lane, yes, Lane, Dad Retro Gamer, how we doing? I know we've got lots of new faces in today, fantastic. Right, okay, so we are going back to Fob. Over to you, sir. A uh, bit of Game Boy Advance. Why not? We have got Dogs Fashion. Okay. Quite a lot of these are in nice, nice condition. Um, we've got Cats. Cats. Oh yeah. I don't think that one's real. You see it? Uh, well, that's the problem. You never know with the American ones because. I'm not sure. Yeah. It doesn't look quite right to me. Well, you can uh, tell by the cartridge if he's got a stamp. If you tilt the cartridge a little bit and you can see an indentation of numbers, that's how you know it's legit. Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly certain that one's not. <laughs> Nigel Mansell's. Nice. Uh, Tiny Toon, Montana's Movie Madness. Oh, nice. That's another good one. I remember that when I was a kid. What's that? Disney Atlantis. Atlantis, The Lost... Don't worry about the prices. Yeah. Oh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Oh. Fairly Odd Parents. You've got some really obscure stuff, Rob. I love it. I don't collect for this. This is just stuff that, you know, I've, I've sort of had from booters and stuff over the years. Yeah. T Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Nice. This is in really good condition. Uh, Feel of the Cathlon. Oh, deal. That is really nice. Yeah. Monster House. Oh, that, yeah, that's one of those. Uh, that's an awesome game. Monster House on the Game Boy Advance is awesome. If anyone hasn't got it, please buy it off FOB. It's awesome. This one is good. Boxing Fever. Oh, wow. Box, that one. Box Needs an Iron. Ooh, I like it. Very good. Scooby Doo and the Cyber something with a sticker over it. That's Cyber Chase. Oh, Cyber Chase, James would like Monster Hass. Okay. 
I dread to think the uh, cost to get to Japan. That's all right. We'll sort him out. <laughs> uh, Road to WrestleMania. Love that game. Backgammon? Game Boy Color. Bloody hell. Okay. Der Anschlag. Uh, that is... Some of all fears. Yeah. Good for half the well, half decent film, I guess. Kind of decent. Oh, well. Yeah, not the best chat line. Yeah. And ye years ago, I picked up a game. I actually had it from a charity shop, and it was called Invader. Um, and it was it. It turned out it was really quite rare, and I sold it for quite a bit of money to an American collector. And then I seen this one day on one of the Facebook groups, and because it was a shooter on the Game Boy Advance, I thought, oh, I'll grab that. I've not played it, but um, I have looked at some footage, and that that's quite a nice. Nice little yeah, page. that's that's oh. part of the Wing Commander franchise, which I used to love back in the day. Right. That's a yeah. it's quite a good one. Uh, oh, Rob, have you, that. Rob, have you got any? Have you got um, betrayal on the Game Boy Color WWF game? No, I don't think so. You didn't oh, right. any bells. You didn't any bells. I've got some more advanced. Though. Carry on, mate. Carry I've on. Got any color in there? Oh, we've got. We've got centipede. Oh, box was fine. Now it's pushed. We've got centipede on the Game Boy. Wow. Shrek Swamp Car Racing. Okay. Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo. Scooby Doo. Scooby -Doo. Yeah. Open season. Yeah. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Matt Philosopher's Stone. We were yeah. talking about it in the chat earlier, the, the Philosopher's Stone games. I don't know if that one's... It's the PS2 one that goes for like yeah. 70 quid, and I don't know why. I really... Yeah. I've never I played the, it. I picked it up on the original Xbox as well the other day. Uh, yeah. Stone. I think it's probably about 20 quid on that or something, but... Uh, and, and that's it, I think, for this round. All right, mate, no problem. Um, let me drop you out. Ed, we will talk about that, brother. I see you put it there. I've, I've got, I've got Car Oli, but if, if, if another game, if someone hasn't played WWF Betrayal on the game, I'm sure it's Game Boy Color. It's um, oh mate, that game is like, it's like Final Fight. Stephanie McMahon's been kidnapped by the by the Undertaker. No, by someone. Um, no. I can't remember now. And you have to fight like Final Fight with The Rock and Triple H. It's she's fucking been good. By Vince McMahon. She's been kidnapped by her. Is it Vince McMahon? Okay, cool. I knew it was someone who kidnapped her. Yeah. That's um, yeah. that's a good game, man. Like that's I, I know it's Game Boy Color, but fuck me. Right, Retro Bear. How are you, sir? Hope you're good. Uh, right. Okay. So Ed, over to you, my friend. Okay. So let's do, it's probably going to be my last section. So I've got a little bit of a football theme. Obviously, the Euro's coming on. So I've got a loose copy of International Superstar Soccer. One of my favourite football games ever. Yeah? Yeah. I've got a few to show later, but one of my favourites. The other one's my, my favourite, but that one's very, very good. Right, I've got this isn't in fantastic condition, unfortunately, and it doesn't have its uh, instructions. But this is soccer on the NES. Oh, nice uh, bit of NES, black NES box, very nice. Yeah, it does still have its original hang tab as well on there. Um, nice. Show you the cart. Cart's in there, but no instructions. Cart's in really good cosmetic condition, like the um, the end labels in. Yeah, it looks nice. Cooper's World, Steve, you after that, mate? Surely you must be after some of that stuff. Um, what else have we got? Okay, we've got it's a loose. This is a 360 game. It's loose though. It's just in the box. Mega Drive. Nice. Um, Ultimate Mega Drive Ultimate. Ultimate Collection. Yeah, but obviously it's got no sleeve or nothing. It's just in the case. Uh, and then we've got another boxed um, football game. We've got World Cup Striker. Oh, another one of my classics from when I was a kid. Yeah, um, it's a little bit ripped there, but it is complete. Um, got the manual and got the game. It's in the original plastic. 
This one. And then we've got, um, oh, you know what? I know um, someone else who showed this, Peter Decathlon. I was also going to show that. Another um, one. A bit redundant. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, very simple manual, N64 manual. Mm -hmm. Pretty good condition. Nice. We've got Band Hero, and that's all complete as well. It's got all the bits and bobs inside. It's got the game wow. in there. And that's basically it. I've got, yeah, Scooby-Doo oh, Scooby Cyber Chase as well. No, yeah, nice. Um, no worries, fella. Yeah, that's, that's basically all I've got. Yep, that's it. No Thank worries, fella. Thank you, Ed. Another tuba, Yakuza reseller. Yes, yes. Been yes, following this guy. Uh, I've been following Yakuza reseller before he did YouTube. And I, was, I used to say to him, you should do YouTube, you should do YouTube. And now he does YouTube and now he's smashing it. Top guy. Um, yeah, proper smashing it, man. Proper yeah, content. good luck to him. I would I would drop his channel into the comments, but I can't do it, mine because I'm stupid. So I'm sure someone will. But great YouTuber. Ghost car boots, buys and resells. Uh, more dabbles in Pokemon and bits and pieces rather than games. But he does keep his eye out for games as well. Great channel. So Marshall here. Nice. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Uh, oh, Al's back. Okay, now. Uh, who woke? Who woke Al up? Yeah, that's right. Um, but it was a terrible game. But when I was a kid, I used to love that game. I used to love Striker. Uh, evening Yakuza. Who's up? Uh, uh, did Yorkshire Man get banned? I just subbed Yakuza. Good Yakuza. Yeah, awesome channel. Awesome, awesome channel. Heaps. All right, man, you, this, sir? this is going to be a random as fuck round. Okay, so no worries, uh, mate. the souls are out, so that's good. I'm keeping the good stuff to the last one. Uh, okay, and probably nobody probably wants this. So this is like the cyberpunk, um, big kind of heavy guide manual, whatever you want to call it. That's I mean, like I Bible. yes, it's a monster view. I, yeah. I stopped. I stopped playing the game because it was such a letdown for me. <laughs> so I never even opened it. Uh, another guide here. It's the Fallout 4 guide. Sorry, let's pull it back there a little bit. So it's a survival guide for Fallout 4. Yeah. That's kind of hard back as well. And I got an N64 with nothing other than the N64, just in case somebody needs a spare one. Just the actual console, no, no. Yeah, just the wild. Same now with the GameCube here. I've got a just a GameCube, no peripherals, but they all work. So yeah, yeah. So I'm going to GameCube. Uh, yeah, interesting enough, these ones now. So I used to get these in the Canary Islands when I was a kid. <laughs> Everyone remembers these two or five, two and one, two or five uh, and yeah. one, all these kind of Game Boy ones. So a couple of these. Um, used to get them in the kind of the, the dodgy shops. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Super Thirty Two and one. Nice. And another kind of Super Thirty Two and one. Um, so that's those. Let me see what else we got. Random shit here. Uh, this might be of interest to somebody. Uh, N64, WCW, NWO, Revenge. Nice. Love that one as well. Good game, Bath. And another kind of random thing here. So, like, this is a repro, by the way, but it's a repro for uh, Duke Nukem 64. Nice. And it's just, just a spare box, just in case somebody wants it. But it's of good quality. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I've got something more random here. So we've got a Wii U title. It's uh, Super Mario 3D World. Nice. And what's last but not least in this one? I think it's just a shitty controller or something. So I'm not really selling it all that well. <laughs> no, you're good, mate. It's, it's, it's acceptable, let's call it. Acceptable quality. Ah. So. Uh. For, it's, it's sorry for it's, it's for the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> yeah, that's it for that round. I've kind of no. got like a small few more things. Just I leave them to the end. So pretty good one Not. there. I, I'm gonna show off. So. Not a problem, mate. One second. Right, right. Oh, my computer. Right. You, you know, you know, we're, we're not being able to see heaps. I'm feeling. No. I'm, I feel like it's Roy Keane trying to swap games on that. <laughs> 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 that's just what I've got in my brain. Sega's on the yeah, boys. Heaps, how are we? Heaps, can you do me a favour? Yeah, no bother. Yeah. 
Right. So what I like to one of, one of my one of my things I used to say to people when I was like t- a young twenty year old, I used to say to people, describe yourself as someone famous. Yeah. Now I used to say I look like a chubby Justin Timberlake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But now I get now I get told James Corden anyway, Ooh. Smithy. Um, who would you be? Heaps. Ooh. Juicy. Well, I'm not. Well, I'm not Roy Keane. Because Roy Keane's from Cork, and he's which he's means a sal- nothing to me because I'm in Essex, by the way. So he he's from he's from um, the south, so south of Republic. So no problem. Um, and yeah, I mean he's a class midfielder, so I, I, I'm I'm not that good at soccer. And uh, let me see, who who the fuck? Um, do you know who's a good actor? Killian oh Murphy. Killian Murphy. You like him? Uh, I wouldn't say so, no. <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe a small bit. Right, someone but, said but, Colin Farrell or try uh, to spin Yeah, well, Colin you know. Farrell. Well, I, uh, my, uh, my channel says I look like a leprechaun, so there you go. I, I have oh. a beard. I have a beard, but it's not green. But I, I suppose during a reveal, whenever that happens in the future, I'll, I'll make sure it is green by the time I do that. So. <laughs> wow. But, uh, yeah. No, that's it. Uh, maybe that's probably a close show. Oh, fair enough. So that's fantastic. Who would you say you look like? You have to describe yourself as someone famous. Oh, fuck, fuck me! I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh. Uh, I have no idea. To be honest, I don't know enough famous people. That's the problem. All right. Well, you, uh, uh, I don't even. Uh, that's, I, got, I don't even know what I can say. All right. Well, you think about it, Fob. What about you? Right. Uh, Billy Ocean. <laughs> Billy Ocean. <laughs> Wait, uh, Billy, Billy Ocean's what step brother? Well, I kind of always wanted to be black. I mean, I'm not, but you know. Hell. Me too. <laughs> this is a good comment. Look, here's a good comment. Les <sighs> Tassig is famous enough for people to look like him. Very oh, true, Eddie. Eddie, that Eddie. Is very, very true. I'll pay you later. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Sega Zombie, what about you, sir? What do you reckon? Well, just lately on videos, I've had comments from people saying I look like Professor Green. Oh, you're <laughs> Green? Oh, okay. Someone actually put in comments, they said, oh, look, it's Professor Green and Jesse J, meaning J. <laughs> <laughs> of YouTube. But, yeah, no... I, I looked at him and I thought I saw a little bit of similarities, but he's a better looking fella than I am. Wow. Okay. I'd take that as a compliment, you know. Yeah, I would. I mean, yeah, why not? Ed, what about you, Ed? Pass. Pass. All right. Well, well. Uh, we've done heaps. Okay. Yeah. Bob, Billy, Billy Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sega Zombie. Yes. Catch up. Catch up. Your turn. <laughs> right. Um, um, later. <laughs> first of all, something I picked up today and I fought a swap shop because I went car booting this morning. Oh, nice. And I saw this and I thought, I've got no interest in it, but I thought someone out there might have. Oh. Oh, no way. <laughs> nice. You know, this thing is absolutely god awful. It's not staying in my house, but you know, <laughs> maybe do a live stream and set fire to it. It, it. It's an official Tommy one, and it's apparently <laughs> the the 20th anniversary of Pikachu. I was quite shocked that it was that old, but wow, Professor Green so, with a Pikachu, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm down. <laughs> Put that so, in. Yeah, your that, that was a boot sale find today. So yeah. anyone interested, let me know. <laughs> this is do you know what i've set up so quick i've put my macbook on the wrong crates so we're going to be looking at a lot of stuff from last week i think rob's messy rob's missus wants um pikachu we'll keep that to one side all right i'll sort that out no worries joe thank you as li- as long as he don't stay in his house longer than he needs to <laughs> <laughs> uh game gear game sonic chaos i've still got that cool Sonic 2, the Saturn gun. Okay, yeah. Um, what else have we got? What else have we got? Oh, this didn't go. I've still got Metal Gear Solid. Oh, wow. It's in absolutely mint condition. 
great condition this but i know it's platinum so it's not for everyone but there's that uh what else have we got i've still got this as well okay the atari flashback uh, this i showed a few weeks ago um but i've only shown it once and that's the binner tone TV game, you know, it's got Pong on it and, you know, well, it's just basically the same game, but they name it a different sport, don't they? Something like that. Yeah. But we've got that in its box. One side's faded, where obviously it's been in a shop window. And that one's fine. So it's a nice display piece. Can you put uh, Sonic 2 and the, the Game Gear to one side? Because uh, Ed was, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sonic 2, yeah. That's a yep. side. And what else? What else shall I show? Oh, and I've still got these as well. Bloody hell. The old move. I know at one, these were gold dust at one point, weren't they? They were going for silly they were, money. They were going for stupid money, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. you know, I've still got these. I've still got the headset as well. I think that's going to be cashed in at CX, I think. But the, oh, the VR one? Yeah. I thought, um, I thought someone wanted that. No, I that, someone asked about that. Yeah, that people were it. asking about it, but um, I didn't get anyone come back to me on oh, it in the end. It, um, that's it for this round. No problem, mate. Right, uh, you know, you know, you've been a tone thing there, Scott. Yeah. Rob. Well, um, I think they they were like late seventies, weren't they? I would imagine. Yeah. Sort of. And I think we had one in like 1980, and uh, we used to play it on a like a black and white portable TV in the bedroom. And I picked one up the other day. Can you see it just there? Yeah. And it sort of reminds me. I think that's the way you got to play them. Just just black and white on the old RF. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's definitely got to be on the old black and white, isn't it? Mm. Gareth Thomas, I don't know you, sir. I can't. Well, unless any unless anyone else knows him in the in the oh, chat. He's one of your friends, Ed. He is, yep, he is indeed. Cool. Right, so what we do is we're he's after the move controllers. All right. So we we sort that out. We do that through Ed. That's not a problem. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and I need to apologise to Cooper's World because I seem to have uh, jumped the comment when he asked for the Pikachu. Uh, my apologies um, to Cooper's what World. Was he, was he first? Was he? He was first, but I jumped the gun and he said that Joe could have it. So. Apparently I'm sexist. Yeah, well, mate, I, I, love, I love girls. Uh, Dane, the former YouTuber who has now spent his time in the sun drinking, been having women around. Good luck, good luck to you, Dane. Good luck to you, mate. We miss you on the tubes, mate. Uh, but yeah, Cooper, okay. my apologies, mate. Uh, sh <laughs> Shag master Dane stuff. <laughs> yeah, well, it's up to you, isn't it? Right. Okay. So, uh, Fog. Did, Fob, did I come? To, I think I jumped to Scott. Scott, I hope you're good, by the way. Sorry, mate. I know you just jumped in. I hope you're good. Thank you for jumping on, fella. I really appreciate that. I know you've been right, busy. Scott. Oh, Scotty, Scotty. I, hope, I know you've been busy today, mate. Um, right, okay. So, well, at the end, at the end, if you want, we I'll see if I can do it, but I'll show you why I'm late and what I yeah. picked up. We, we might be yeah. finishing a little bit earlier anyway, because Pete, Pete's here um, as like my co host. <laughs> giving me a bit of insight to stuff and ed's got got a little bit more to go and heaps may need to be uh vacating very soon due yeah. to the lack of beer he's been consuming over the last three <laughs> fucking days <laughs> um, right. so let's 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 jump to heaps quickly we're going to go around a bit a little bit so heaps let's yeah. go to you mate let's show you show some stuff my friend okay so this actually might be of interest to start as well so a couple of dream cast titles well, nice. Short enough there, and again, this, I have one kind of let's call it a holy grail to show off as well. So um, let's start with Dreamcast. I, I haven't much, but I will go. We we'll go nice and slowly with them. Uh, so it's Dave Mira for the Dreamcast. Okay. All right. Um, I've never even played this one, so I don't even know. I can't even comment on it. It's called it's called Neo for the Dreamcast. I think it's a platformer or something. It's a pretty good platformer, that is. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, we got you with a striker. I, I've seen that. I've seen that so many times on your on on the swap shop. So. <laughs> 
And this may be of interest to somebody. It's an actual copy of Shenmue for the Dreamcast. So, oh, nice. Ooh. There you go. And, hey, yeah, okay. Rob wants Neo, so keep it to one side, please. Yeah, no bother. No bother. It's yours, man. Um, okay, and then the last one. Now, this isn't actually Dreamcast. It's Nintendo Switch. Um, and this came out first. It's actually out on PC now, but it's the collector's edition of Octopath Traveler for the Switch. Oh, um, um, and, I was asked uh, for that. I've just yeah, fucked yeah. you. I bought the anyway. Sorry, go on. Carry on. Carry on. Carry on. Carry no, on. You're, you're okay, pal. Um, it's <laughs> it's it's complete as well. I actually had to take it out with the the, the PVC cover because the thing was a fucking nightmare to get it out. But yeah, but, uh, but um, anyway, yeah. So that's like it's got the game and everything, and it's got this really really cool. I don't know if you can see this properly. No, sorry, my bad. Move that beer, mate. You don't see the fucking beer. <laughs> uh, beer's important. I need to put that somewhere safe. Um, oh, yeah. So like, like it's got it's got all these really kind of cool um uh, pop-up books and stuff like that um it's actually a really really good game but i i i got to a point about where it was just turned into a crazy grind towards the latter end of the game uh, maybe she's like probably put 50 hours into it um but i never ever managed to finish it in the end it was just kind of one of those jrpgs that you kind of suddenly just drop after a while and you just get caught playing something else but anyway that's kind of the, the 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 main bad boy i had there to give away today I might um, take that off you, but I'll see if anyone else wants it. I have already got it, but I haven't got the special edition. But yeah. we're sold out, man. Regardless, no, no worries, but yeah, and that's me. That's everything I had today. Okay, you let, listen heaps. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, nice. Lame Dad Retro Gamer, was you talking about Sega Zombies Metal Gear Solid? Because I think that's the only Metal Gear Solid that's been shown tonight. If it is that, he has got it for swaps. Um, Rob, you got a game, mate, so you're good. Rob got a game. Oh, put that to one side for that lad. Lame Dad Retro. I, I think I'm trying to think. Um, I've seen him a couple of times. I'm, you know, like it's, when, when you've got new people, as, as you know, Scott, when you've got yeah. new people on the swap shop, we get lots of new people who, who pop on. So, yeah, I know he's, a, he's, a, name. He's, good, he's a good pal of mine, uh, Lee. Uh, yes. He's got a, he's got an excellent channel too. So he's only sta he's only started out recently, but again, doing really really well for, from such a short space of time. So good luck to him. I'm oh, I'm, yeah. literally, I'm literally going to find him on uh, YouTube now, and I'm going to send him a subscription. There we go. Oh, I've subscribed already. What an arsehole! I've already subscribed. Anyway, I'm now working him down. <laughs> Um, that's fine. We're sort that. And what we do is we, we're getting in the swap shop group as well. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Dane, hope you're good. Uh, Steve. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Up to fast switch. Uh, uh, where are we? Yeah, that is on the switch. Um, that is, yeah, that's, that, that's the switch on. version. Yeah. 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 Uh, I, oh, like he said he can ping you, uh, Scott. So that's good. That's fine. Is he in America? Is he then? This lot was hope. I hope. Yeah, he's in the states. All oh, right. Okay, that's cool. Uh, there we go. Right. Okay. Cool. All right. Okay. Yeah. So he would like Octo Octolus Path. I can't say the fucking name of it. Oct I can't say the fucking name. Octolus Traveler. Sorry. Um, he will have to off you heaps. So we'll sort that out. Yeah. No bother. What's this? <laughs> So he let himself go to Bruce Willis Fest. Good effort at Essex accent, though. Yeah. This is, listen, if you know about Big Trouble Little China, that's my Big Trouble Little China vest, mate. That's, that's ah. my oh, legend t shirt, my Jack Burton. What a film. Mate. What great, a film. Great, great movie. Yeah, great movie. Jack Burton. Is it, mate. Is it true that they're remaking that? Because that if is. They fucking know. I'm going to go down to someone. They better not touch that fucking film. I swear to God. Yeah, I think Will, Will Smith's playing the main role. Oh, for fuck's sake. Don't say that to me. Well, I'm just saying that because it's bound to be, isn't it? But you know. no, apparently, it's, apparently it's the rock because rock can play a white a white um a white American truck driver now, as well as playing every other character in the in the fucking universe. <laughs> Even though I do like the rock. Uh, I have the Vesley, uh smaller size, obviously, obviously, Dane, obviously. <laughs> Oh, right. Game Shack! The Game Shack's just yes, it's yeah. been remade. Oh god! Oh uh, fuck it! Oh, oh, I can't believe it's fucking been remade. Why did they have to do that? Like? Why can't? All right, this is okay. I'm gonna have to go off on one now. <laughs> I've got the comics with Old Man Jack, where J 
Jack Burton's older, the big trouble, and they're, they're really cool. That's that's a great angle. If they did that with Kurt Russell, because that's a movie in his 70s, 80s, probably. I don't even know for sure. Um, <laughs> if they remake it, he's going to go Willis. Or <laughs> that, that's, oh, wait, don't give me sorry. Anyway, uh, Fob, we'll come back to you. Then we go to Scott. Then we go to Ed. And then we'll see what happens from there. So, Fob, cool. over to you, sir. Okay, off the back of that Dreamcast, uh, just got a few Dreamcasts there. Um, we've got Trick Style. Trick Style, okay. Nomad Soul. Nomad Soul, very good game. Giant Killers. Oh, that's another good game as well. I can't believe you still got that. Uh, Choo Choo Rocket. Good, good uh, Kona case. Sega Worldwide Soccer. Okay. Uh, Virtua Striker. Awesome game. And WWF Attitude. Oh, no. yeah. Uh, still a bit of Yeah, why not? We got a copy of Turtles. Nice. I've got much Nes left now. Uh, WrestleMania Challenge. Got a couple of copies of them. Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. Awesome game. Uh, Doctor Mario. Doctor Mario. Yeah. Uh, a bit of Nes. We got. Super Soccer. Nice. Super Mario All-Stars. Yeah. Bubsy. Super Mario Kart. Yeah. Super R-Type. Uh, and that's that's it. It's just another copy of Super Mario Kart there. So, okay. And that's me that's for that round. Perfect. All right, Scott, we're going to come to you. Then we're going to go to... Sorry, Lee, I had to jump in. I just have to drop off now, so apologies, Pat. Not a problem. Fob, uh, heaps, thank you so much, mate. I'll speak to you soon. We'll get you back on, mate, but I really appreciate you coming on tonight, so thank you very, very much. Yeah, sir. I really appreciate you having me on, and cheers to the lads as well, all right? Don't I'll, worry, I'll, you take I'll, care, jump, mate. I'll jump into the comments there when I get a chance, all right? No problem, mate. Thank you. Later. Yeah, unfortunately, he couldn't be here all night. Exit solo late. There we go. Right. Couldn't be here all night. Um, right. I've got to show this one. I'm sorry, Rob. I do love you, Rob. Has Rob got to say that guy's Phil Foden? He went blonde. Not great, mate. <laughs> Fucking fucker. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, Scott, we'll come to you, mate. Yep. And then we go to Ed, and then we'll work out where we go from there. Right. Okay. So we've got a load of Wii games. Dewey's Adventure. Okay. Metroid, Corruption, <laughs> Hell, <laughs> Deadly Creatures, good game, Guilty Gear X X Four Core, yeah, yeah, <laughs> Transformers the game, Red Steel Two, yeah, House of the Dead Overkill, nice. Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition. Nice. Scarface. Nice. Um, some PS4 games. Um, and when I was at the boot sale today, I was chatting to this lovely um, lady, and she was telling me that her son was had won a BAFTA for um, this certain game. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of blown away. I stood there talking, to, chatting away from to her for ages and her son was bullied at school um, terribly so he got really into his music and he ended up creating the music for this game and he won a BAFTA and she's so proud of him bless her, she was telling me all about it this morning but that's Until Dawn uh, obviously this is Rush yeah. of Blood but he worked on Until Dawn, it was up for five BAFTA awards yeah. when it was released It was, and the only BAFTA it won was the best sound and music and that was her son that created the sound of music to that game. Wow. So I, I thought that was an interesting little tale. Doom. Sealed. 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 No one wants it, though. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Blood and Truth. Very right, good game. game. One of the best VR games, that definitely. Yeah. Astrobot. Oh, no, there's the other one. Yeah. The, I would say that is, uh, it's just such a Nintendo game, but not Nintendo. It's crazy. Yeah. 
Beautiful. And then Operation Warcade, which is yep. a tribute to Operation Wolf. Oh. We've got some DS games. We've got Animal Crossing. Okay. Pack Picks. Is that my mic feeding back? I don't know. And we've got some specky games. We've got Titanic. Yep. Troll. Okay. The Surf's Tail. Riding the Rapids. The Games. Nice. Silent Shadow. Matt Lucas was shown this this one a few it's times. Fucking Matt Lucas. Matt Lucas is still here. Yeah. Solomon's Key. Nice. A quality game on the Spectrum, Roland Thunder. Yeah. Awesome, Roland, Roland Thunder. Or V the same, Monty. Nice. Bubble Bubble. Yep. We've still got the old little Namco plug and play. Nice. Um, Excite Truck on the Wii. These ones I've missed. Manhunt 2. Yeah. In a crazy that that got released on a Nintendo console. I know, and it makes no fucking sense. Uh, um, 360 game, Mega Drive Ultimate Collection. Nice. And Sonic Generations. That's your lot. Right. Ed, we'll make, you got enough to do one more, yeah? Yeah, I've got just about enough to do one more. Legend, one, more one second, mate. It's not as good as like the previous rounds, but yeah, go for it. No worries, mate. You crack on. Got, got a few S64 games. Got um, Virtual Pool 64. Okay. Uh, I've got Revolt. Revolt, yeah. Uh, got SNES game. Got NFL. Mm -hmm. Power version. Yeah. Uh, then I've got um, Hitman, Hitman Absolution. Yeah. Then I've got a Japanese Game Boy game, Kicks. Okay. Uh, then I've got another PS2 game, I I I. Thirteen, good. Cool. Um, then, yes, yeah, get a bit bleak now. Uh, Masters PS3. Yep, I do like that game. Uh, Invincibles and Game Boy Advance. Incredible. Yeah, Super G Cyber Chase Movie Shop. I've already showed that, but yeah, that's that's it. That's all I've got. Everything. No worries, fella. Thank you, Ed. Thank you, Ed. Sweet. Right. Uh, I, I, I did show this comment. To you, Scott, but I didn't say to you, Scott. To so Scott, uh, get to an uh, I can never say his name, but anyway, he was Guilty Gear. We're sort get of to noon. get to get, noon. Like, you know, like, why can't it just be like Dave? Like, his name's Dave or <laughs> Steve, something like I can't say much. I'm done as a retro chef, in it. Um, anyway, you came know. back in, right? I'll put that aside for him. What's the need having to take on just sits there like bless Nestastic, he's there for the end. We're having a good have a good chat at the end, UK Vat King, who I've never seen before on this stream. Um NFL game. Interested in NFL game, Ed. From two E. So put that to one side for me, please, Ed. Thank you, sir. I'll put that to one side, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. Eddie, I know you've been in a few times, Ed, so thanks, Roller Quiet. I'm I'm not, not blinding you. I was playing quicks on a GB yesterday, yeah. Um, we're sold out for 2E. It's just one people buy Excite Truck Wii game. Fantastic racing game. Okay. It is. Raz is right. It's a, it's a brilliant. It's probably one of the best racing games on the Wii. I think Great the, game. Wii, the Wii has got quite a few obscure games, like them kind of ones, where you wouldn't know unless unless someone's got it or played it, you wouldn't know how good or bad it was, you know? Yeah. When am I, cha when am I changing my name to Pub Grub? Never, you heathen. 
Um, uh, to the UK, you can uh, find me on Instagram, uh, edhunts.yt. And yeah, what, what I'll do to ask all that for you, I'll, I'll I'll get you two talking. It's not all right, dudes. We'll sort that, mate. It's not a problem. Um, right, Fob, one more from you. Oh uh, yeah, if you want. Yeah, we'll do one more from you, one more from Scott if if he can, and then we'll have a little chat about what I was going to talk about today. Uh, what we got? A bit more snares. Yeah, uh, battered copy of Super Mario All Stars. Nice. Mario Paint, FIFA 97, Super Tennis. Get that, Mortal Kombat. Cool. Super Mario World. Yep. Uh, another copy, copy of Super Tennis. So I did grab as well, a couple more bits here. Uh, one of those crappy retro tv games things if anyone wants that they can have that and <laughs> before which i was surprised didn't go uh pokemon controller for the nintendo switch nice I'm still in its box and we have a full complete box you know the ps ones nice ones uh if anyone's after one of them and that's it cool one second i'm just I'm literally just about to put a comment to get to get to know. I'm about to put a comment, but I'm going to tell you now because he's come off old. Uh, well, if you go if you go on Facebook and type into the Swap Shop group, and you ask to be add add to the group, I'll find you that way. It'd be easier than rather than keep on looking for names and stuff. So if you go on to Facebook, type in Swap Shop, you'll see the icon of the Swap Shop icon. I always share when I do the streams. Add that, and I'll get you in the group, and then you can talk to. Any of the guys on here who are selling stuff, we can get you out that way. All right, Scott, you got a little bit more to show, or are you going to show what you bought today? Yeah, no, I've got more to show if you want. Legend. Let's go, mate. Let's go. Mm. Right, first up, manuals. If anyone needs any manuals, get in touch. Any of these. We've got turtles. Um, this is um, for the micros, obviously. Yep. Akari Warriors. Again, a micros one. We've got Doom for the Jaguar. Yep. This is in nice condition. Um, Tempest 2000. Again, in fantastic condition. Well, it was. I just dropped it. That's all right. You've had a good <laughs> Shadow of the Beast for the Atari Lynx. Oh, nice. True Pinball for the Sega Saturn. And I can't believe no one needs this in the hunt. Oh, mate, don't don't get me started. People that are going for a full pal set, go on eBay, get one without a manual. <laughs> yeah. And get this one off me. Um, we'll end up on some Saturn games, shall we? Cool. Oh, Mortal Kombat 3. Shell Shock. Command and Conquer. True Pinball. Burn and Rangers. Um, but right. this has no manual, this one, unfortunately. No manual in that one. Can't believe this isn't gone. This is a quality game. Crypt Killer. I've, I've just picked up the alternate variant case. I've got that case. I've got the other one. I think it's black. Yes. I just picked it up. Not yeah. Long, like, oh, I just I just found this in the box. Cybermorph the overlay. Oh, nice. The Cybermorph on the Jaguar. Oh, I've still got this as well. Oh. The old Virtual Cop LCD. Ah, uh, mate. With the little um light gun. So yeah, still got that. Still got Panzer Dragoon Saga. No. Yeah, still got these loads of stuff. Still got the Ben Boyd Radiant Silver Gun, which is wow. absolutely gorgeous. Cyber Speedway, Cyber Speedway. Frankenstein through the eyes of a monster, a rare right. game, but again, no manual.
Chaos Control. Okay. Robo Pit. Fighters Mega Mix. Nice. Titan Wars by Crystal yep. Dynamics. Yep, yep. Do you want me to keep going? Yeah, go on, mate. Go on, mate. We're, we're, we're a little bit earlier tonight. Guardian Heroes. Yeah. Uh, the longer that stays here, I might keep it, you know. That's a fucking good game. <laughs> I don't know why you're getting rid of it, to be fair to you. <laughs> Independence Day. Yeah. Going from a great game to a fucking pants one. Well, you know, full set, mate. Full set. Mm -hmm. Hardcore 4x4. Yeah. Manx TT. Yeah. Sega Worldwide Soccer 97. Nice. Starfighter 3000, an obscure one, that on the Saturn. Get War, which is like a, like a weird mech sort of game. What is that game that come out on the PC? Descent. Uh, Descent. Oh, right. Descent. Remember that? Yeah, it's kind yeah. of a bit like that, if I remember rightly. International Victory Goal. Okay. Worldwide Soccer 98. <clears throat> And then finally, tilt. Nice. So there we go. Perfect. Right. I'm just going to drop you out. I'm going to answer a couple of questions, and then if you want to show Scott what you what you've gone out to get, if you want, you don't have to. If you yeah, want no, to. no, I'll show you guys because it delayed me. Right. So heaps. Thank you very much, mate. I'm definitely get you back on, or I'll do something on your channel, mate. Fucking legends. Simon Day. First time here, how does it work? If I'm interested in something, how do I need to uh, something to offer? Right, um, Simon Day, a little bit up from your message. Gernardino Plays is shared the Swap Shop group on Facebook. If you click on that link, I will add you onto the Facebook group, and that's how we do some deals. We can also do some deals through Instagram if you find my channel Retro Chef, and then we can do it that way, and then we can work out with the tuber who it is who you want to get some games off, so that's fine. Uh, Cyber Speedway is that Cyber Cycles in the arcades? I'm not really sure to be honest. With I don't you. know to be fair, I wouldn't know the answer to that. How the fuck have you not sold those? Well, I said that before, I don't know why he hasn't sold them all. It's a fucking mystery. Rob, thank you for Rob. You're a fucking legend, man. Join the FB group, sign easy to contact whoever has something you would like. You can offer trade if you have something or just sell. Perfect, thank you very, very much. I reckon it's some uh, something Nintendo from Scott Jade getting her shells. Right, Scott. Right now, basically, late. this. Why were you late? I was late because a deal come up. I've been haggling with the guy. Now I would not buy this sort of thing, but the price I've paid, oh. I think it's warranted. It. It will probably stay in the games room a little while, just so me and the boys can play it, because um, Jade's son Connor. Um, and Kai love this franchise, and um, I think we're going to have a bit of a blast on it. But this this was a great price. Hold on, let's see if I can turn this round. Oh, we see more of the room. Oh no! Oh, you bugger! I have just got myself the arcade one up, turtles nice. and turtles in time. Now I know these. Ain't an arcade replacement, really. You know, I have my own arcade cabs, but for the price I've paid for this, me and the boys can have a bit of fun on it. Yep. You know, I had a, I've had a quick blast when I went round the geezer's house and picked it up, um, and it plays really quite well. Um, so yeah, that that was that was the hassle, and it wouldn't quite fit in my car, so I had to dismantle the. Oh, wow. Okay. That's what held me up a bit. But, yeah, no, I'm really pleased with it. Can I be can – I, can I ask, did you pay uh, – they've been selling for about uh, $250 and they brand new? No. $350 brand new. Yeah, did you get a good price then? Oh, yes, very oh, good. Oh, a very oh, good, good deal. Good, good. I'm glad. And a fraction of that price. So well, you had to go, mate. You had to go. I had to go and get it. You know, I couldn't leave it there. And there was three other people. I was first to it. Right. And there was other people wanting it. So I had to go and get it at that time. But yeah, that's what I got. 
Right, I'll let you off. You're, you're still my left or right hand man, along with Bob. I'll let you off. I'll let you off. Right, so that was cool, mate. That's awesome. I mean, I am I must admit, once I do my room, I think they're quite a nice little thing because they don't take loads of space up. Look, they're, they're no you know? arcade machine. You oh, cannot. They are not an arcade machine. You know, they're a bit cheap, might I add. They're a very hefty price for what one, they are. One thing I noticed, Scott, because I, I briefly had a Pac-Man one, and the sound on it was awesome. Mm. The sound on this is really, really good. It's actually got the um, stereo dual speakers where I think the early ones only had one speaker. All oh, right, okay. It, it sounds fantastic. Um, like I said, I've only had a very quick play when I was looking at over at the guy's house. And it seemed to play pretty tight, you know, from what I've seen of it. But it is what it is. Yeah, I would nice. never go to Smith's Toys and pay 350 400 quid for it but what i'm happy with what i paid good. like what i said it's going to be a, a weekend or two's enjoyment with the boys playing a bit of turtles four player and then i'll move it on you know yeah nice. listen mate like i said i'm I'll, I'll, I'll quite happy to have a few of them because they're so compact you know? it's so light they're so yeah. light you know i i've picked up arcade machines and you, you're sweating buckets with that i just picked up one hand and put it in the car <laughs> that's the difference yeah exactly right so thank you to everyone for, who's been on tonight pete we're gonna have a little chat everyone have a little chat in a second we'll go for a couple of bits we'll go around the room thank you to heaps as well for coming in i really appreciate that um seeing as we've been i'll put myself in a solo so i can have a little chat so seeing as we're in euro 2020 or euro 2021 seeing as they didn't want to rebrand everything and pay out any more money they skimmed us with Euro 2020 signage everywhere. <clears throat> I thought I'm going to show some football games. Games that I played or I have played and I've enjoyed. Not all of them. I pulled out just a few, but some good ones. And I want the guys uh, in the comments to get in on this as well. Um, maybe there's some games that I'm going to say that you have some real nostalgia for. Or even maybe like with, with Pete or Ed or Rob or Scott, or even heaps, there might be a couple of football games that you really like. If there isn't one, tell me another sports game. I mean, I really love NHL PA 93 on the Mega Drive. I love that game. I love NHL PA 94 on the um, Mega CD. Awesome game. So I'm just going to show a couple of games that <clears throat> I played when I was younger, or what I've played now, if you know what I mean. So, first one is World Soccer on the Mole System. Now, this was quite an early game for me. Um, this one's actually quite nice. I, I actually picked this up this week uh, at a car boot. Um, great game. I remember playing this when I was younger, though. So that's World Soccer on the Mars system. <clears throat> Another little one. Going to Sega still. Kick off on the Game Gear. Actually quite enjoyed playing that quite recently. I did enjoy that one. And we're going to go... One of my favourites, International Superstar Soccer Deluxe. On the Mega Drive, I got this off my good friend Fob. One of my favourite football games at the time was this FIFA '95 because it had real teams, not real players, but it had the real teams at the time. I used to love that game. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to move on to let's go, let's go, let's go back a bit further. Premier Manager Three on the Amiga, awesome game. FIFA Soccer on the Amiga as well. Another awesome one. Sponsored by Adidas Predator. One of the best games, probably one of the best football games ever. One of the best football games ever. Sensible Soccer. This is the European Championship one. I also have another one, which is one of my favourites. It's Sensible World of Soccer, where you could be the manager or the player. Let's move some of these out of the way. Got a few more to show. I say I've not got all of my football my football games. I've just got a good selection of. International Superstar Soccer Deluxe on the PS1. Very good conversion on the PS1 if you haven't got it. ISS International 64 on the N64, obviously. Really enjoyed that when that came out. <clears throat> Very underrated game. Um, that was fetching decent money. I don't know where it is now, but I've said this a few times. ISS Pro 2. Oh, fucking the light. ISS Pro 2000, very, very good game. 
where you could actually uh, pick, you'd actually pick your player you wanted to be and you could uh, go through their career with the game from start to finish. And it's, this used to fetch decent money. I don't know where it is now, but it used to fetch good money. <clears throat> uh, Giant Killers, which Fob showed earlier, which is, I think, a really good game on the Dreamcast. Really nice game. Virtual Striker, uh, is it two point? I don't know, version, version 2000.1. Awesome game. I think I've got the GameCube version, up, which is a Virtual Striker 3, but I'm not 100% sure. A couple of newer, I say newer, newer PC ones. One of my favourites, Chat Manager 0102. Chat Manager 4. I didn't really enjoy this as much, I'm not going to lie to you. And then probably one of my favourite football games, and I've spent hours on this, Champ Manager 2. Awesome, awesome game. I put loads of time into that. Um, <clears throat> I don't know where everyone else is. So we're going to, Pete, we're going to give you a solo. And I want okay. you to let us know whether it's a sports game or a football game. Give us some of your nostalgia, fella, please. <laughs> well, the main one would probably be Manchester United football on the Amiga, which is a Chris Ellis game. Oh, wow. And, yep. Yeah. I don't know how it aged, if it's any good or not now. It's probably terrible. But that was just uh, nostalgic, really, because when I was at school, uh, I was crap at art and I hated doing the lesson. So the teacher, he had an Amiga 500 and I bribed him with a copy of Deluxe Paint Free. And because I did that, he just let me skip the lessons and just play Manchester United all the time. So <laughs> it's got some seriously great memories for that one. Um, yeah, I think really, like, it's not really a sport. It is a sports game, but it's not like traditional, which would be like Speedball 2. That's like... Yeah, yeah hugely nostalgic one, one of the early games I played on my Amiga. And, you know, I was playing it on the Mega Drive actually the other day the, the, um, on the emulator, and it still holds up really well. Um, it's a shame you got the ice cream thing in it, but the game itself, you know, it's still a lot of fun to play. Uh, I'm just going to pick one else. It's all top spin on the Xbox and all, the yeah, tennis yeah, game. Yeah. And virtual tennis on the Dreamcast as well. So they're quite good. I like all the old arcade style, like the NBA jams and all that. I'm not really into the simulator yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. 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 But yeah, that's really that's the kind of sports games I'd go for anyway. Yeah, you, I mean, um, you said there about NBA Jam. I think a lot of people probably in this would NBA Jam on the Super Nintendo was, well, I say Super NES. I loved it on the Super NES. Mega Drive was good, but that's another one, another banger, another really good one. NHL PA games I used to love, EA Hockey, all them I used to love, all them games back in the day. I forgot about them, them yeah. Good oh, games. mate, I put so many hours into them ones. Um, awesome games. Pete, thank you very much. Fob, talk to me. Yeah, I mean, as a, as a kid, I, I, I really loved football games. Um, I remember uh, the, the arcade games when I was little and we'd go on holiday. Uh, used to play track and field, loved that as a sports game. And I remember going into an arcade one day and finding the Taken, I think, I think that's how you pronounce it, Taken, the um, World Cup game and it was like a it's like a bit of a cocktail table with two rollers each side okay do you, do you recall it at all i do it, remember that one it was like an overhead view and i've not seen that before um and you used to smash the trackball you know as hard as you could and, and i could barely see the screen i was that little but i got over the period of this particular holiday run i got i got really good at, i'm not very good at games and i'm not proclaiming to be but i got really good at that to the point where it had all bruised all my arm up from smashing the track ball. Oh, wow. um, they've got one at uh, Arcade Club, and I have contemplated buying a cab, but I've read quite a lot about the the, the, the maintenance of the track balls. They break quite easily and, and things like that. But um, a game that I really played to death, a uh, football game back in the day, was um, on the Commodore 16. It was called Indoor Soccer, and I mean, it was terrible. But it was a football game. And if you're into football games, you know, that 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 is what it is. And then when I got my Amiga, <clears throat> I remember being in uh, in Leicester Town Centre in, in, a, in a computer shop called Dimensions. And I seen Micropro Soccer. And it was the overhead thing, like the, like the Taken World Cup. Uh, and I got that. And uh, I loved Micropro Soccer. I played it to death. And it had... If, if nobody's played it, it's got two two modes to it. Uh, you can play indoor or, you know, just like normal. But it's, yeah. it's a cracking, cracking game. Um, and while you were talking, 
uh, I just grabbed a few of the Amiga ones out. It's not, it's not all of them, but uh, that's the one I think that uh, Pete was just talking about. That's uh, the one, yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, does it still play well? I, I can't say that I, I really particularly remember this one very much, Pete, to be honest with you. I think it was probably because once you, did, once you sort of find sensible soccer, um, yeah, yeah. kick off, they just sort of, everything else sort of, for me, paled into a bit of insignificance. I think that's, is that Peter Schmeichel on the front supposed to be? It looks like him. But, uh, yeah, I grabbed a couple more out. Well, mate, Pete, Peter Beardsley's uh, <clears throat> soccer and Emlyn Hughes's I used to play on my friend's Atari ST quite a lot. We used to like them. Champ Manager. Oh, um, mate, I love that Champ Manager. I, I spent so much time on them. Well, again, on the Commodore 16, there was there was one just called Player Manager. Is it, what's his name, Kevin Tomlins or Tomlinson that made the Player Manager series? Ooh. And it was released on the Commodore 16. And again, I used to play that to play <clears> that to death. Um, goal? Yeah. I remember that one. Striker? Yeah, that's the old. Kick off two. Kick off two, yeah, uh, that's the old. And there was another game I used to play quite a lot. Um, whether it falls into sports or not, I don't know, but it was called Footballer of the Year. Um, and and it, you had to answer questions on football. It wasn't an actual game. But then it had mini games where you took penalties and dribbled with the ball down okay, like okay. and stuff like that. If nobody's played football of the year and they did do a second one, uh, they're they're pretty nice games to pick up, particularly to play nowadays because the questions obviously are from back. They were relevant back in the day, you know. Yeah. So you kind of need to be, you know, of an age to understand it. But, yeah, but yeah. No, I, 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 and then Virtuous Striker on the Dreamcast, I used to play that. Uh, I, I, I lived with one of my friends for a couple of years and we got a Dreamcast and we used to play Virtuous Strike and we used to bet one another for beer. And uh, <laughs> I'll, never, I'll never forget one night we, we were going out, it was a Friday night playing Virtuous Striker and, and, and I beat him and he said, double or quits, yeah, double or quits. Anyway, he ended up owing me 16 pints and we were driving into Leicester and I'm giving it the big one saying, you know, I don't even need to bring my wallet, you know, this, that, the other, you're paying for the night. And he's, he's not saying a word. And then all of a sudden he just pulled into this like little country pub and um in Moneton and uh he walked in and he ordered 17 pints and just he just said put one just 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 do what you want to do with them and shut the fuck up for the rest of the night. I couldn't drink them, obviously, I ended up giving them away, but <laughs> <laughs> that's a great story. Yeah. Bob, thank you so much, mate. Sega Zombie, what about you, well, mate? I've got loads of memories of sports games, the cool, same mate. as you guys. Um, if we go, the oldest, and I, the same as Fob here, I remember really loving Microprose. Yeah. Um, soccer, a great game, but yeah, it got overshadowed by Sensible Soccer kickoff. But this was one of the first really playable football games I thought on the Specky. Yeah. Um, and then what we got Mega Drive wise, there's so many great sports games on the yep, Mega yep. Drive. It's just <laughs> unbelievable. But Mutant League Hockey used to love that back in the yeah. day. I loved all the ice hockey games. Um, yeah. It was a really popular sort of franchise, one of all the hockey games, a bit yeah, like basketball. Good. There were so many. You had such a variety of sports games. EA have just monopolized the whole market and yeah. we don't get the choice anymore but yeah, yeah league hockey a game i loved in the arcades it's a originally a neo geo snk game um but it, it played pretty good on the mega drive and that is um super baseball yeah i, I really you know back being a kid just loved robots and um what was the other one was it soccer brawl which is football. like ro robot football yeah it's yeah, yeah. a neo geo game yeah again another game i absolutely loved in the arcades as well as that um we've already mentioned nba jam yeah quality game yeah always yep. played that with my mates and we've also mentioned speedball 2. yeah awesome what a game that's yep. one of the best kind of futuristic takes on a sport game i think's ever been made 
Yeah, definitely. Great game. Um, sensible soccer, we've mentioned that. Um, a couple we haven't mentioned, I don't think, is which I showed off earlier, and that is Sega Worldwide Soccer 98. Yeah, another good one. That was an absolutely fantastic football game. Um, still plays okay. It's not bad. We mentioned this, didn't we? Virtual Striker 2. Awesome game. Blown away by that game. Loved it in the arcades. Was so chuffed when it came out on the Dreamcast. Um, even though it plays a bit more like pinball, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, true. you can't hold on to the ball. You've just got to bounce the ball around. <laughs> <laughs> And one of my favourite sports games with the most nostalgia because we was around about, we was into our sort of like late teens. So we was going out to the pub, getting pissed. And me and my mates would always play this game. And that is Athlete Kings, but I've only got Decathlete, the Japanese version. Yeah. But Athlete Kings, the competitiveness. I remember me, me and my mates falling out with each other over this game, you know. The other one's win the heat, which I still yeah. need to get that bloody game. But that's another one. It's the same essence as as Athletic King sort of thing. Yeah, that's uh mate, some some proper bangers there, mate. Again, uh Ed, mate, over to you, sir. Anything you want to say? Yeah, man. So um I grew up being like a big football fan, big WWE fan, WWF fan back in the day. So um obviously when growing up I had the Amiga, so I was a big fan of like the the Super WrestleMania games with like you know Hulk Hogan, Randy Savage, all that stuff. So I kind of yep. carried that. And um, N64 because I had an older brother, so he had kind of all the consoles. So N64 was really the first console I probably owned myself. So I love like the THQ series of wrestling games. Awesome um, game. WWE, WWE. But my favorite personally is uh, WWF No Mercy, uh, which yeah. is obviously all over online. You'll see it being praised as one of the best um, pure. Ed wrestling games, pro wrestling games out there, and I absolutely loved it. Um, I touched upon earlier how like, I used to be like a really, still am a really big Nintendo fan, and I've got to say Mario Tennis is one of my favourite um, nice. tennis, tennis simulators, and uh, also as well that goes with that uh, is, so I'm looking at my question quickly, uh, Virtual Tennis on the Dreamcast. I remember... Um, Virtual Tennis, tennis another awesome one. They had an arcade of this in Bromley Town Centre, uh, where I grew up. Uh, just next to the computer exchange, so I used to go in there just after the computer exchange and just blow this. I absolutely love this. One of my favorite um, tennis simulators on any console, 100%. Uh, and then, obviously, um, I know you touched, touched upon it earlier, Lee, uh, like the management um, simulator games. This one's LMA Manager 2005. Nice, um, the Xbox version. This is just a, an example. I played it on the PC, obviously, it's just way bigger database and it's able to hack it a lot a lot better uh and obviously i've got to, i've got to go to the the original the best sports game title right there in it nba jam isn't it but yeah I man had, i had it originally on the on the mega drive i didn't really play the super nintendo version i do own that now but i still do prefer the mega drive version even though this is the genesis version so um, in terms of that apart from that yeah just fifa pro evolution Usual football game played pretty much every year up until 20, and I gave up with it because 20 was terrible. So, yeah, that's my uh, nice one. Cool, yeah, no, some good stuff there, mate. Here we've got here. Oh, I'm with you, Sega Zombie. I love Virtual Striker. Scott Sega Saturn Lad is a filthy animal, filthy reselling <laughs> animal. Um, it's crap. LMAs don't come to consoles. LMA was another good one, but yeah, yeah. I used to play them, they were they were yeah, decent. They were decent. They were decent. Generation consoles, I'd buy it definitely 100%. Yeah, well, they uh, there was one of them they used to go for decent money as well. I think, I think Big Game Al told me about was it was it LMA 2007? One of them, anyway, one of them used yes. to go for decent money. On the um, PlayStation <clears throat> 2, I think that does go for good money. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, ah, what we forgot to mention was Wii Sports. Wii Sports, we yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, you forgot Pilot Wings. Which is one of uh, my favourite. Well, it's not even sport, is it? It's fucking. Nah, sport. it's not sport. Well, well where did it from? <laughs> I do love that one. Look, but don't any, you... any others, Pete? <sighs> I'm struggling it. Cause, like, um, it just reminded me of like WrestleMania and the Amiga. No, mm. I completely forgot about that one. I love, I love all the old arcade wrestling games. Those are yeah. the best. Yeah. You know, 
Even not the ones on the SNES, which aren't the best in the world, but you know, they're still like a shitload of fun to just play them. Um, trying to think, what else is there? I can't think like Commodore and Spectrum here. Like, it's that far back. I can't remember what sports games we had then. I remember a sports game my brother had because I remember I got my Mega Drive and my brother, he was a few years younger than me, he got a NES. And the game I absolutely adored on the NES was Blades of Steel. I was waiting for you to say that. Nice. A game that was. And yeah. we used to play that all the time. The NES, all my all my brother had on it was literally, it was the Turtles pack. So he had Turtles and he had Super the Mario games and Blades of Steel. And Blades yeah. of Steel is all we ever played on it. <laughs> we yeah. loved that game. There's yeah, one but... on the Switch. I can't think what it's bloody caught. I I downloaded it digitally because I didn't think you'd I didn't think you'd get a physical release, but it has. And I can't think what it's bloody called. Is it brutal hockey or blood? It's an ice hockey game, very similar to Blades of Steel, and it's fucking awesome and it's glorious. Fuck, there's loads of fighting in it. Um, I think Two D Rob picked it up. He hasn't been in the comments tonight, but I think he's picked it up. I can't think what it's called now. But it's on the Switch, probably on the PS4. It's a pretty shit shit old game, to be honest. But there's, 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 there's so many. Um, when you think about oh, it, just one. Go on. Daily Thompson Decathlon. That's what I just oh, played. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Track and Field's yeah. another How one. How could we yeah. leave that game out on the specky? Oh. <laughs> that's or on all the micros, yeah. Yeah, that's been shown so many times from Retro Baits. Danny's yeah, <laughs> been funny. He showed it so many times on Retro Bait. Um, yeah. There's loads. The thing was, was back then, which I touched on earlier, is choice. Yeah. I feel sorry for the youngsters today because they're just dictated to by EA. You know, all the way up until I'd say probably once the PS2 era was over, you know, there was no choice. You could go out and buy, you had a choice of 20 different football games. Now you've got two, haven't you? That's it. Yeah. And the same with wrestling and basketball, tennis. You know, it's all the same now. And years ago, you just had so much choice and so many different companies' takes on these games. Like another one we didn't mention, I don't think, Super Tennis on the Super Nintendo. A yeah. launch game, and yeah. that was a fantastic game, that was. Yeah. It's, mate, it's, it's, it's when you say, when you start mixing it up, and you think of you think, then you, you start pulling them out. There's, mate, there's loads. There's so yeah. I mean, yeah. I never got into the, any of the Miracle Football games. I never got into any of them. Like the John Maddens. I wanted to. I them. really wanted. Because if you remember in sort of like the the late 80s, early 90s, American football was massive. Everyone was wearing the T-shirts, the yeah. gear. And we all pretended back then that we knew how to play American football. I can remember getting them on the Mega Drive, wanting so much to know what the hell I was doing. But... <laughs> Never got anywhere in them games. I still don't know what blitz is. All these, all these words used to come up. Blitz and fuck. <laughs> yeah, that one. Yeah. I tell, I tell you what, we're, we're quite good on the micros. Um, the um, the Winter Olympic Games, you know, on the C sixty four. Yeah. Remember them? They had the different events. Um, you know, and the attention to detail in them for for the time in comparison to some of the games was brilliant. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the one where you like would ski along and then shoot at the Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's, you don't get them anymore now. Like, I mean, no. other, other than like Mario and Sonic Olympics, I'm trying to think of anything like that really now. There's not many all around sports games like as as the skeet shooting or fucking curling. Like that's <laughs> Mario and Sonic Olympics. Um, there were sports champions on the PlayStation 3. That's about it, really. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I played that one. To be fair. Oh, the game we, we've missed out a whole um, sport. Well, if you call it a sport, the Game Shacks just put snooker games. Oh yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy White. White. Yeah, oh, yeah. Of Jimmy White. the most ported game in the world. <laughs> yes, yeah, <laughs> on every console. There's, um, I've actually got a, I've, I've got a Wii U game. Oh, snooker one and it comes in a case with a snooker cue to attach to the fucking weight <laughs> like it's yeah it's the boxes like that and you open the case and you put this cue to get is it really that bad is it really that fucking bad you got to have a cue like that 
Someone's like just it. someone's mentioning a game shack again. He's mentioned darts games 180 on the spectrum. That has got to be oh. one of my most played darts games yeah. ever. I used to love it. You just had the hand floating like that, and you had to. Yeah, I, I, oh, yeah, I think, I've just realized something. Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk, yeah, skateboarding, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Seven twenty degrees, some of those kind of games. I mean, I mean, I like playing golf, so I do like some of the golf games, especially some of the wee golf games are pretty cool. Oh, yeah. leaderboard so, though, back in the day. Oh yeah, leaderboard. Yeah, leaderboard. Oh god, yeah, leaderboard. Bloody hell. There's, yeah, listen, I think we could go on all night, but um, <laughs> we, we're going to finish it up a little bit earlier. We're going to finish five minutes early. It's the first time ever. Gonna finish a little bit we early. usually run over, don't we? I know it's, it's, it's been it's been a it's been an interesting night to say the least. We've had lots of people getting involved, lots of new people getting involved. Thanks to Pete, thanks to Ed, and thanks to heaps for bringing these new comers comers along. So what we'll do is we're just gonna go around the rooms last, and we're just gonna let people have a little chat about what we've got coming up, and then we'll go from there. Pete, what have we got coming from you next, my friend? And thank you for coming on as well, by the way. No, oh, no worries, mate. It's all right. Um, at the moment. I, my, my channel's sort of like whatever I feel like making, so <laughs> I don't. I sort of got a plan, but I don't really know. Uh, but the latest thing I've done, I was, as you said earlier, I was on Rob's channel, Essex Retro Gamer. Yeah, um, good, very good watch. Go back and watch it, please, people. Very good watch. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Rob's such a nice bloke, and also he, I thought he did a really right. good job of hosting that as well. Yeah, um, right. yeah. I mean, most of the time now I'm on stream, so like on Thursday I'll be on It's Much, it's much More on nice. James's channel for the Evercade. Um, and I dabble with the Americans as well, and I do an Amico podcast over there as well. Nice. That's it. Well, that's, that's, it. that's, yeah. fair that's nice of me. Right, Pete, I'm going to drop you in the back, mate, and we'll have a quick chat before we go. So thank you very much for coming nope. on to the mate. I appreciate no that. Right, Ed, thank you very much for coming on, mate. What have you got coming up? I'm, I'm sure you've got more car booting vids coming. I'm looking forward to today's one when you do release it. But what have you got coming up, mate? So, yeah, I've got, as you said, got loads of uh, car boot episodes coming up. Obviously, the weather's absolutely fantastic at the moment. So, there's a lot coming, a uh, lot of car boots actually going on right now. Uh, I've got a trip to Bristol uh, booked. I'm going to be going to a few boot fairs over there and do some charity shop hunting. I'm going to do some more um, video game hunting there too. Uh, there's a new Tokyo Toys that's opened up. That used to be in the Trocadero in London. That's now opened up in Sig Pub and they've opened up an arcade, like Trocadero esque. Okay. So I'm going to be doing a review of that in the next week or two. And yeah, just I've got another trip up north also um, organised. So yeah, that's pretty much what I've got planned. got a lot planned. So yeah. Perfect. Good. Definitely someone, definitely someone, guys, if you love car boot videos and love exchanging stuff at CEX and seeing prices, because what I love about Ed's channel is he will show you, he will tell you what he paid for saying. He will show you what you got for trade cash-wise, because that's always really good, because a lot of people will say, yeah, I've got this game, I've got that game, but they won't tell you how much they cost or how what they pay. So as much as you can go on YouTube, uh, sorry, on eBay and check, I like to know the value. If I, if I go to a car boot and I see something, I like to tell someone what I paid for it, because when they go and see it, they know I've got a rough idea. And plus as well, Ed will show you what he, uh, CEX will give him for cash trade. Uh, sorry, yeah, cash trade for it. And then he will trade that for games. So really nice channel. Get over there and watch it. Ed Hunts, great stuff. Ed, thank you so much for coming on, mate. I'll drop you in the back and I'll speak to you too, fella. Thank you, mate. Comments as well. Appreciate it. No worries, mate. In a bit. Oh. Fob, do you want me to put a pound in the meter? It's fucking pitch black where you are now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, normally I turn the stuff on just to get yeah. some light in here. Um, but because it was light when we started, it was and, and hot. And obviously, you turn them all on and they get hot, don't they? So, yeah, I was just yeah. thinking that. It is pretty dark, but seeing as we're nearly done, it's uh, we're all right. No, we're, we're nearly done now. It's, it's a school night. I've got, I've got work tomorrow. I've got I've had a busy weekend. Um, today was absolutely dead, so it was, it was nice because obviously England was playing. And um, we've got no TVs, obviously, in the restaurant, obviously. Um, so it was, like, pretty dead. So I left last and early, so I got home. But I've got a busy day tomorrow. Is looking like we're going to take on two more restaurants, so I've got to sort out some stuff for that. So more aggro, uh, but anyway, um, that's all good. Fob, I'm not going to ask you what you got coming. I'm not going to ask you as long as you no, carry on. I, I was speaking to Stu about it this morning. You know, okay. Um, you know, I've got a few bits to show. Uh, cool, good. I've, 
you know so yeah so something will come like i said to steve so sort of like i said before you've got to feel it and uh yeah. through no reason it's just been oh, i'll do one when i've got you know a bit of stuff and and, and got something to say really that's yeah. all and now things are opening up and the charity shops and the car boots yeah you know we'll, we'll, we'll grab a few bits cool right um i'll drop you in the back a second i'll say hello to scott so i'll see you in a second rob yeah okay, thank mate. you Cheers, sir man. Oh, no, I pressed the wrong one. There we go. That's the one. No, and this one as well. Uh, exit. Uh, Scott, thank you, mate. I know you, I know you're running around today, mate, but I'm glad you come on. It was good. Um, my, well, obviously, you've got that contact, that system for a, I must have got it for a bargain. I mean, I've seen them around my way for like 200, but they go like that. As soon as they go up, they're yeah. gone, like 200 quid. So, and I'm, I am very tempted. I, I am very, very tempted to get a couple because. Um, <laughs> There's some good ones as well. There's some nice there ones, is. I think. And to me, what attracted me to that one is, one, it's an iconic game, and it's still current today with the kids, you yeah, know? Yeah, 100%. And we've been playing an awful lot on the video, Master. We've been playing a lot of side-scrolling beat-em-ups. And just to be able to all four of us play, yeah. it, it, that's what's attracted me to it. You know, whether it's a novelty thing or what, and um, what I've paid for it, you know, I know I can play it and move it's it on. Brilliant. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There, there, there's one, and I keep I saw it on American YouTuber. It's got Final Fight. Um, it's got a load of Capcom. I can't think of all the games that's gone in there. But it's got a load of games. I've, I've not seen it over here yet. No, see, a lot of the American ones didn't got because there was a Sega one as well. There was well, there was Outrun that got released in America. Oh wow! And also um, Golden Axe. Oh, there was a golden axe one with the um, yeah, with all the golden axes on it. There's loads in America, so many. There's I don't think it come out over here, but there's the NBA Jam one. We was talking about NBA Jam. I've, I've, I have seen that one, but not I saw someone shared it. I think they imported it because I know, yeah, some people have imported some of them because of like, like um, Cyber Snake they imported his Star Wars one at the time. Yes, yes, um, well, that was supposed to come out here, but that got delayed. Yeah, it's one of them. Um, but there's just some awesome ones. But I, I say I, I, I call up with um, YouTuber of the month. So congratulations, George Sasser Gaming. Um, yep. I've seen the people who have been nominated. I haven't commented. I'm going to comment. A um, couple of channels there again that I never expected, which is always part of the fun of YouTuber of the month to see some channels that you wouldn't really expect. Sort of I was going to say, and it's great because you know I like to think that I spread my wings and i try and watch as much content as i can yeah. Yeah. yeah but this month there's a couple of channels there that i don't know i'm not familiar with and it's just great you know something new to have yeah. a little look at well cabana nick berry um gibbs but the other, other gents like some good channels yeah. um obviously last month's ones you know that's some yes. awesome channels last month i mean mark's channel george has really come on same as rob's rob's like rob's been really active recently Yes, uh, fucking hell, mate. I, I think he's got shares in YouTube. Um, <laughs> no, no, I'm just it's a rumor, it's a rumor. Um, but no, but like he's done loads of stuff, so and same as Ed and same as uh Roddy, like they've done so it's nice that we've got lots of people and stuff. So hopefully, we, it's, it's, know, it's great to see people being nominated that are putting a lot of effort in yeah. and they're they're That's putting out a lot of content, you know, because we all know what it's like, we, we all do yeah. YouTube. And at times, like what Fob says, you've got to be in that right frame. You've got to feel like doing it. You know, we all feel a bit like that. And, yeah, you know, it's going to pay off for these guys. They're putting in so much work. And, you know, like me, I've, I've got about six or seven videos to film. And yeah, it's just having time to put it in. You know, life can be very busy, can't it? But I've got so many pickups to show. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I've kind of forgotten where I got them from. So, you know. <laughs> I've got, I've got to do that, and um, I know me and Jade are going to be filming another retro hunt um, very nice. soon as well, because the last one seemed to be really uh, popular. A lot of people like that one, so we're going to yeah. go and travel the country. Now now lockdown's lifting, you know, as much as people love going to the boot sales and all of that, that's not really my sort of thing, filming that. Yeah, that's I fair enough. Like to just go and check out the different retro shops, you know, because running yeah. a running a shop similar to myself all those years ago i know what it's like and yep. if we can get people 
aware of some of these shops, that would be great. Well, I loved your video at Ali's. I thought it was awesome. Yeah, so, and Ali, know. what a man. Oh, yeah. Top, top guy. Top guy. Me and Jade were in there for hours. Seriously, we was chatting to Ali for ages. It was, it yeah. was a great day. It really was. Good, good, good. Right, let me drop you in the back. I'll say goodbye, and then I'll see you in the back, sir. Yeah, thank you very much, yeah. Scott. I'll catch you right. in a minute. Cheers, guys. In a bit. Oh, right. So another good swap shop. Three new people. Snestastic, Heaps, and Ed, Ed Hunt. Thank you to you three for coming on. Love Heaps' channel. Like, I can't even explain to you how much I love Heaps' channel. I'm always on his channel Friday night even last night. Um, awesome YouTuber. I, like I said, I don't know how he hasn't got more subscribers. It's a joke. And how he's not been nominated for YouTube in a month, that's another joke. Anyway, that's another story. Ed's channel, awesome stuff. Like, I found his channel by luck. And that's what I keep saying about YouTube. I love YouTube. You can literally find anything on YouTube. You know, I found his channel. I reached out to him. Top guy. You know, yeah, late. I'll do swap shop. Yeah, sweet. You no. Know, Lovely guy. Same as Pete. I've been watching Pete for so long and seen his collection change so much from PAL snares to NTSC snares to PS1 to Mega Drive. I've seen his channel change so much and that's all down to YouTube. Thanks for watching. <clears throat> next time, the next one. Sorry, I'm just getting uh, confused. The next swap shop is on the 27th of June, obviously Sunday. Um, I've got my three people. One, one's a 50 50, but that's another one, another conversation. But yeah, um, looking forward to that. Gonna, well, I don't do much else really. Let's be fair. You know, I was talking to Rob Essex Retro, he keeps telling me to do more stuff. Um, I'm still trying to find my feet at work with, with how it is because we've been so busy and stuff. I'm trying to make sure that my my other chefs get days off and I work around them. So it's going to be awkward for me to kind of find my groove and find my pattern. But we will get there soon. And when we do, I will be doing some vids. I picked up some stuff at the car boot the other day with Rob, which was awesome. Um, some good stuff, actually, from the boot. Like, on a serious, there is gold still out there. There is gold still out there. Um, I, think, I think this week coming Wednesday, I, I believe I've got the... Um, VHS bootleggers, Wrestle Talk, WrestleMania, shit, 22? I can't remember now. Shit. Anyway, WrestleMania, 22, I think it is. Tomorrow night, get over to Pedro's channel with Gernardino Plays, talking about the Saw movies. He saw the recent one, uh, which I haven't seen the recent one of yet. Get over there tomorrow night. It's probably 8 o'clock at night. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's 8 o'clock tomorrow night. Um, get over there. Watch his channel. Love Pedro. Love Gernardino. Another person I want to meet in person, along with heaps and a few other. Well, along with all of you. Do you know what I mean I want to meet you all? Um, I feel I, I feel for you, Chef. Reopen if and be a reopen has been time. Hey, listen, mate. Um, no one forced me to be a chef. I did it to myself. It's just been awkward, you know. I don't want to sound like an old fucker. Um, it's been tough, man. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. It's been mad. It's like I said, I was saying, it's like people haven't eaten before. You know, it's been really busy. You know, today was dead, which was nice. Nice to get out, really nice and early. Um, but yeah, I'm talking about Blackpool as well and all other bits and pieces. I should do a video, like a catch up of what's going on with me, really, rather than do on this. But yeah, you know, lots of things going on. Obviously, things have opened back up. I, so that'd be cool. Get back to meeting some people. Uh, get heaps over from Ireland to come and have some of my burgers. Have some of my burgers. Yeah, no worries, mate. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, do other stuff as well. Do chips as well. Um, so, yeah. So, guys, look, thanks for watching. I'm chatting shit now. I'm waffling. Thanks to everyone um, that's been on the stream. Thanks to Ed. Please go over and subscribe to Ed. Great channel. Please subscribe to Heaps. And if you haven't subscribed to Snestastic, uh, subscribe to Snestastic. Please subscribe to Save a Zombie and to Fob, and to myself, and like the channel. Thanks again. See you all again soon. Bye-bye.